Can everyone hear me? Word, word, word. Sorry about that. All right, here we go. All right, man, welcome in, everybody. Uh, I'm going to give a few people some time to, like, join in whatnot here, pun intended. But, uh, sorry, I was trying to flip the camera around. I didn't want to, you know, click the... I didn't want to click go live and then it flip around and it's just me with like six chins and whatnot. So, yeah. So if anybody's joining in on YouTube, I think it's being multicasted to YouTube right now. If it's multicasted to YouTube, I'm trying to figure out if it is. If you're coming from YouTube or if you're watching this on YouTube, I'm going to try and pin a comment. The only way you can actually join in on the action and everything going on right now is to join whatnot and join the app and get started like that. So I don't even know. It says that it's multi-streaming to YouTube, but... I, I'm not seeing it. If anybody can, you know, check their YouTube app or what have you and see if it's on there. But nonetheless, man, welcome, everybody. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. Got a little housekeeping before we get started, but it should be a fun stream. I got a lot of items up for, for sale here. We have some buy it now items. We have a lot of auctions we're going to run tonight. And we have a bunch of stuff, man. So I appreciate everybody joining in, man. All right. So apparently, according to Mod, we are live streaming on both for some reason i can't get it to pull up on my other device so i apologize for that but uh anyway if you guys are joining on youtube and whatnot again you're gonna have to go over to the whatnot app download it and whatnot to join in so and i'm not moderating the youtube chat or looking at it so you know if, if that happens too i won't be able to do that but i appreciate everybody for joining in man uh, three minutes. In three minutes, we're gonna. I'll, I'll do the introduction. I want to give a, a few minutes for everybody to join in. I hope everybody's having a blessed day. Everybody having a blessed night here. But again, we're gonna go through some housekeeping stuff, and then we will dive into everything that I want to, you know, dive into, man. So everybody, what's up? I'm ready to go. We are gonna. The one thing I do want to mention is we're also gonna be doing another stream. Um, I thought like my camera's blurry as hell too. Is my camera blurry? Or does it look good, man? I don't know. You guys can let me know. Let me let me wipe this. I don't I don't like it, like. Let's just wipe it. Give it a good wipe right there. All right. That looks 10 times better. Okay. So, uh, nonetheless, we are going to be putting up a bunch of items right here, man. I hope you guys do. Uh, what the heck? Did I just mess up the setup? I don't know, man. Anyway, uh, first of all, again, welcome in, everybody. Thank you guys for, for tuning in tonight. We got, we got a cool stream for everybody, but let's get into the housekeeping. A couple minutes early here, but let's just get started. So, first of all, I might mess up some stuff, all right? I might mess up some stuff, some technical background stuff. This is my first stream, so I may mess up. I do apologize for that. Also, uh, my, my one of my eyes got messed up a little bit. So, uh, if uh, if that's the reason I'm not showing myself is because my eye is all jacked up and I didn't want to look like a pirate by putting an eye patch on. So, there is that. But, um, again, we are multicasting to YouTube. So, if you're coming from YouTube, you're going to have to download whatnot for, for everything going like that, you'll have to, you know, join in, go to the link and and join on, man. But we're also going to be doing another live stream, WrestleMania weekend. So about uh, maybe a little less than a month from now, I think it's like, maybe it's a little over a month now. We're going to be doing another whatnot stream. So definitely stay tuned for that one, man. But the theme of this stream is retro theme. So it's like the retro collectibles style theme. Now I did keep it modern. It's like modern stuff. It's a lot of Mattel stuff. It's a lot of things that are modern day figures, but they're of the retro icons of, of retro people and you know throwback things of that nature so we're going to dive into that of course so we are celebrating the retro collectible night maybe the next stream it'll have a different theme or you know we'll get different stuff going on but for tonight's specific thing that is what we got going on man but let's go over some of the, the buy now items before we dive into the auctions so the first thing that we have right here is our patron package so this patron package this is 10 bucks man so with the patron patron package, you're gonna get this card here. It's got the MBT logo and stuff on it. I will personally sign it here. You will get this card. You'll also be getting a crowd sign right here that you can put in your arena. And I might put a little something on the back as well, but you do get this MDT crowd sign for your arena. And then the last thing that you get is this MDT world sticker. You can stick it on your laptop or your desk or anything you want, man. So that is the patron packages. These are only 10 bucks, and so you can Use your $10 credit on this, or you can do something else, man. But this is only patron exclusives. Only people that are on Patreon that buy the Extreme Division the extreme division members, they're the only ones that get this stuff. So if you guys are interested in that, you can uh, you can buy one of the patron packages. So huge shout-out to Toy Mania right there for picking up one of those. I had this, like, dipped up right here. I don't know what the hell just happened right here, but I had this tipped up, and now it's all messed up. So, again, I apologize again. I told you that I would probably mess up some stuff. But uh, what is the gear for Elite 109 Cody? 
No idea, man. Hopefully it's the Royal Rumble gear. I would like for it to be Royal Rumble 2023. Uh, tonight, we don't have any Cody items, but we do have four mystery items. That's another thing I wanted to get into. We have four mystery items also that are going to be surprises at the end of the stream. And also, I want to get this out of the way, we also have the Ultimate Edition Mattel Creations Ultimate Edition Kane right here. The uh, I didn't want to showcase because this, this area right here is way too small. I wanted to showcase the figure itself because we are going to do a giveaway for this figure and the Ultimate Edition ring all sealed. It's all sealed up in the shipper package ready to go. And so the only way you can enter that giveaway is to be following me on whatnot and be active in the stream when it goes live. So that that's what we're going to do the giveaway last probably because I want to get through all the other items that we have. However, you know, I, I have all that going on. But yeah, this is also going to be giveaway tonight. So this is just a loose figure. Of course, it includes the ring. It includes the cane. It's all going to be boxed up in a shipper, so you can keep it mint on card. You can do all those things. You can do whatever you want with it. So that'll be the giveaway at the end, man. So definitely, uh, you do see Grand Metalik up there, man. Grand Metalik, he's going to be involved in some action figure surgery. That's the reason he's up there. But nonetheless, man, that is our giveaway stuff. Now, excuse me. <clears throat> Next up. Yeah, so let's 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 knock out a few more of the buy it now items before we move into the auctions, man. Huge shout out to everybody, man. I'm, I apologize if I'm not reading a lot of the chat. There's a lot of chat coming through, and I'm trying to check off all these boxes before we get started, before we roll into it, man. But again, yeah, you're not even supposed to see Grand Metal Leak. It's supposed to be like this. So I don't know why the hell this this happened. Do you think you'll be doing more things like this in the future? I plan to. I definitely plan to. But uh, we're going to see how this one goes. I'm excited for it, man. It should be a good night. But another buy it now item that we have is the Hulk Hogan 3-pack. We have the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Mr. T sealed. We have the Chase Ted DiBiase white suit, men on card. And then we have the retro Mattel ring. So those are the different things that we have, man. Uh, it should be fun. You guys can go check out those things. And so you'll have to uh, get in on the, all that stuff, man. But with all that being said, I can you say hi to my girlfriend, Kaylin. Hi to Kaylin. Appreciate it, man. Again, if I don't acknowledge your comment, I do apologize because there's so many coming through. But anyways, let's get things started. Again, I may have some some multiple some multiple issues here, but... Let's go ahead and get into our first item here. And I apologize, man. Again, just bear with me. I'm doing my best here. Let's start things off with uh, let's start things off with a figure. And again, this is all one dollar options, man. All one dollar options. So like you may be able to get a figure for five five dollars, one dollar. I don't know. You know, this will be all up to you guys. So, you know, this is all for you. So you guys can go, get in here and we can get it started. But I got to look for the Degum item in here. All right, man. So, we're going to be putting this up for 45 seconds. And the first figure we have, man, is going to be the Shawn Michaels right here. And this Shawn Michaels, again, putting up for a dollar, what have you. Great figure right here. It, I do believe it's going to include the accessories. I'm going to do my best to get the accessories going. Do you guys want this spinning or do you just want it how it is? I could spin it if you want. There you go. You can get a little look-see look at it, whatever. But this is actually one of my favorite Shawn figures I've ever done, man. Definitely one of my favorite Sean figures, and I apologize if the if the spin is too loud, if the machine's being too loud. You guys can let me know. But uh, this figure, this figure is badass. This is a badass figure, man. So you guys can can let me know what you think of this Sean Michaels. But yeah, ten bucks. That's a steal, man. That is an absolute steal. So if anybody wants this figure, you can get in on it. Great deal right here. Great for parts and stuff as well. So you guys can get in on it. Buy up the Sean Michaels, man. Look at that. Bogey 73 wins the auction. 17 bucks for the Shawn Michaels figure, man. Great figure right there, man. Excellent Shawn Michaels figure that you just got. Appreciate you for the sale, man. And so I'm going to try to include something with everybody's purchase as well. Um, so that'll be definitely something. Anybody that purchases something, I'm going to try my best to include a little something for everybody that makes a purchase. So I do appreciate everybody. But all right, man. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good way to start. And that's a good, I feel like that was a good deal right there, man. A great, a great deal. So my son recognized your logo. So I guess you're a big deal. I don't, I don't know about all that, but I, I'm just here, man. I just make the videos and do the stuff. So we're, we're here, man. But I appreciate your son for watching, man. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in tonight, man. Should be good stuff. All right. We got our first sale going. Got our first sale. Am I going to Mania this year? I believe so. I, I got to be there for the reveals, man. I mean, even if I don't go to the show itself, I'm definitely going to be going just for the figure reveals and to do the coverage and what have you. So that'll be fun no matter what, even if, because the tickets, man, the tickets are outrageous. Yeah. We're going to have customs. We're going to have customs on here. 
definitely going to have customs going. Oh, let me see if I can get this going. Let me fix this. I'm sick of Grand Metalik being up there. I want it to stay right there. So I'm trying to get this. I do apologize, man. Yep, just completed our first auction. How do I join or win the giveaway? So the way you get into the giveaway is you will – you have to be following me on here. Show Grand Metalik. I mean, it's just a naked Grand Metalik. You know what? I'll show it off. I'll show it off. Let me fix this camera first, and then we can get into it. So to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is be following me on whatnot. And then you have to be active in the stream as as the giveaway is going. So that is the only way that you can actually enter the giveaway for the Kane figure and the Ultimate Edition, man. You know what? I don't I don't even care. I don't even care at this point. You know what? Grand Metal League, you can just stay there. But I'll show I'll show off the Grand Metal League. So here's the Grand Metal League right here. It's a naked Grand Metal League. You know, he's got no pants on. So there's that. By active? No, I just mean you have to be in the stream. You don't have to be active. You just have to be in the stream. So, yeah, he's got kind of a singlet thing going on right there. But uh, I, I have a cool idea for this, and we'll get into that. There's another figure up there, too, that we're going to do for, for surgery. And I do plan on giving away some stuff and selling some stuff on whatnot that is related to the stream. So, you know, like from a video. So t we'll build something on surgery, kind of like we're doing with the Hulk Hogan's tonight. We'll build it on surgery, then we'll bring it over to whatnot and sell it and give stuff away and things of that nature. But nonetheless, man, does it take your money every time you bid? No, only if you win the only if you win the bid, man. So that is what we got going there. What is the next one? I don't even know. I don't want to hit run next and then, been scr and then be scrambling. So let's see. The next thing that we have here. Let's, uh, y'all want to do a belt? Let's do a belt. Anybody, do, do we want to do a belt? Let's go. Uh, t -t 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 -t. Yes. All right. Let's do a belt. We're going to do a belt. Let's do... And do the mystery items, I'm hyped for the mystery items. So you guys can, the the mystery items are sick in my opinion, which we'll get into, man. But let's run the next one. It's going to be a belt here. Let's run the, yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's, let's relate it to our last figure that we just sold. Let's do one of these, man. And uh, I think I'm going to need this. I'm going to need that, I think. And that's going to effing, that's going to, it's going to spin around, but who cares? I'll hold it in front if I have to. Let's go right here, man. We're going with the Block Intercontinental Championship right here, man. You put it with your Macho Man figures. I personally, I love the way, okay, that's another thing. These these figures, or these belts right here, were made by Dan Turnquist. And Dan Turnquist is very talented, man. He 3D prints these, he designs them, he does paint them all. And we have some custom title belts coming that are PickFed related. We have a lot of stuff going on, man. These are not your mom's title belts, man. These are official title belts. That, that are going to upgrade your collection. They're going to look incredible. So that is what we're going to see tonight, man. You're going to see a lot of great title belts right here. And he is such a magician, man. He he can customize with the best of them. His belts are some of the best you've seen. So definitely need to uh, get in on that, man. Dan Turnquist, absolute beast. Jeremiah 115 wins the Block Intercontinental Championship, man. That's a, that's a great, great purchase right there, man. Thank you so much for that and we actually have two of these so if you miss out on the first one you are going to have an opportunity to buy a different one so be on the lookout for that man but that is our first sell there with the belts we had our custom intercontinental championship thanks so much to jeremiah man huge shout out to jeremiah man huge w in the chat for for jeremiah for purchasing the intercontinental championship right here great stuff and again mdt why are you so sexy looking i would have to ask my wife right there you know, uh, I, I appreciate that. Nonetheless, let's move on to the next one. Uh, let's should we do a figure? You guys can tell me figure or belt next. You guys can let me know down in the comment section. Where, where, will you be running more belts? Yes, there's a ton of belts. Figures then belt. All right, y'all want to just alternate it? We'll go. Fi we'll go fig then belt then fig then belt, and we'll just flip it back and forth. How about that? How about that? We'll do it like that. I think that's the best way to do it, man. But uh, huge shout out to Jeremiah, man. Thank you. Thank you so much for that, man. Let's get into uh, a figure. Let's get into a figure. Let's see. You know what? Let's do a figure that I was excited for. And this is actually something I whipped up just the other day, actually. I whipped this figure up really, really. I, I was kind of looking at my collection and like, what would be a cool figure? And I want to say we did this on surgery. But then I can't remember exactly. But nonetheless, man, here we go. Let's get into it. Kind of looks like Jeremy Padauer a little bit. But we have Ricketh Flair. With the wooing head sculpt, man. Wooing head sculpt right here. It is the Retro Fest. It comes with a big gold championship, man. It comes with a big gold championship right there. 
So you're going to get this. It comes with the wooing head sculpt. It's got the robe on there. Great figure. Great retro fest Ric Flair right here, man. Love this figure. I think it's great. It's 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 one of it's actually Loki. I'm I'm literally I'm I'm selling you my my favorite my favorite Ric Flair in my collection. So this is this is a big one. This is a big one right here. I used one of the alternate head sculpts from this figure actually to make a custom Jeremy Fadauer, and then I was going to gift Jeremy with it, and then it, it I can't, I never finished it. So yeah, sorry Jeremy. You know what I mean? I I, I you hate to say it. How long are you going to be here for? I'm going to be on here. Pro I would like the stream to go to about 8.30 or 9 if possible. Awesome Triple HD. Huge shout out to you, man. Huge W right there, man. Great W right there with the Ric Flair, man. Huge shout out to you, man. This figure's great. This is a great piece right here, man. And all the figures were shown off tonight, man. All of them are in great condition. Great to mint condition. I'm not going to put something up here that's been, you, you know what I'm saying. I don't want any weird stuff going on. So, you guys can get on that. Huge shout out to everybody that are fo that are following, that are tuning into the stream, man. I appreciate all of you guys so very much. You guys are amazing. Hopefully, we can get some more stuff going on, man. But that is another sale. So now we're back to what? A belt? We're getting into a belt, man. Next up, we have a belt. Huge shout out to Awesome Triple HD. Thank you, brother, for the purchase on the Ric Flair. I was excited about the Ric Flair. I thought that Ric Flair was awesome. And also, apologize for if, if you hear my chair. I need a new chair. My chair has been squeaking and whatnot, so I, I do... Uh, what not there it is again that's another pun intended right there how long is this i don't know I'm, I'm gonna go until the wheels fall off brad we're just gonna ride with this thing but uh huge shout out to awesome triple hd right there for the purchase on the rick flair let's move on to a championship now this championship's gonna probably uh we have a few items that it can relate to in this video but let's bring out our uh, belt holder right here we're gonna get our belt holder going and the next thing that we're going to be running is that a Roll Tide in the chat? Roll Tide. Roll Tide. Shout out Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Let's go to our next item, man. Next item is going to be the NWO WCW World Championship here. If I can sit it on the damn. Okay. Here we go, man. Starting at a, Everything's a dollar. We're starting at a dollar, man. So you can get a really good deal here. We are going. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. NWO World Championship, man. NWO World Title. I believe there's a few figures you can get this with, but I don't even know what this goes for in the aftermarket at the time of at the time of streaming this, man. Sorry if it's not centered. God in heaven, what are we doing? Hopefully that's good enough. Yeah, but there you go. There we go. So if you're coming in and you and you joined on and you got the $10 credit, you can use that $10 credit here, man. You can take $10 off any purchase. You got to move back to Spinner. I really do need to move back to Spinner, but it's actually taped down because it's a piece of shish. And the only reason, the only reason that I can, uh, the only reason that it's able to work is because it's taped down. So that's the, that's how that works. But here we go, man. We got nice, very nice. Mo the Fig God. Mo the Fig God wins the NWO World Championship, man. Huge shout out to you, brother huge W out to you. How do you get the $10 off? Well, the only way you got the $10 off is if you joined on whatnot using my link. It automatically gave you 10 bucks that you could use. And so there you go. GG's to Mo right there, man. Great stuff. Huge shout out to everybody following on or that's jumping on, man. I appreciate all you guys. Thank you guys so very much for joining in tonight. Again, if you're on YouTube, you got to download whatnot or join on whatnot and get in the stream to be active here. Jesus. Let me get a sip of diet. Let's take a, let's take a breath here. Because I feel like I've been running 90 to nothing. Let's. I'm going to take a, a sip of Diet Doozy before we continue. And so uh, let's go. Let's go. Ah, that's crispy. That's crispy stuff. All right. Are you selling other belts? Yes. There's going to be a lot of other belts going up for sale here, man. Let's move on. We're getting into another figure here. What do we got? Let's see, 166. Huge shout out to everybody in here, man. I appreciate all you guys. Let's go with a figure again. You know what? Let's go with let's go with another one here. And let's go with a tag team, man. We're going to get the Acolytes in here. Now, these figures right here, these figures specifically were uh, this. Oh, my God in heaven. These uh, This Baruch right here was one of my top figures of the year last year. And these are fantastic. These are great stuff. I love these figures. I wish we would get more Farouk and more Bradshaw. We really need to re-release the Elite 38 versions of these guys, to be honest with you. But let's go ahead and run this. How long are you going to be on? Again, it's going to be. We're going to probably run another hour at least. Another hour at least. Maybe a little longer than that. Depends on how much fun I'm having, I guess. But 
Let's move it on, man. We've got the Legends Elite Acolytes Tag Teams. Great figures right here, man. I'll tell you what, if these reach if these reach 25 bucks, I'll throw in a set of world tag titles. Mattel world tag titles, like the, you know what I'm saying, these versions. These versions right here. If these get up to 25 bucks, I will I will throw this in. I'll throw in a pair of those. We'll have a we'll have a pair of those going with them. So here we go. Acolytes, Farouk, Bradshaw, man. Run it up for the APA, man. Love the APA. They were stiff as hell. They would come out and beat, beat the brakes off of you. But nonetheless, man. So World Tag Titles look like it's going to have World Tag Titles. There they are. The winner will get a set of World Tag Titles in with these Acolytes Elite. So not only are you getting the Acolytes, you're getting a set of World Tag Team Championships to go along with your Acolyte figures, man. Congratulations to whoever. Congratulations to whoever purchases the Acolytes, man. Appreciate all you guys for joining in again, man. You guys are awesome. I appreciate all the support so far on the stream. we got a lot of great items here tonight. we got some Buy It Now items. If you guys are interested in those, they don't sell. I'll keep them in the collection, but such an awful torso for Bradshaw. Mike, the wrestling collector, shout out to my boy right there. Absolutely. It should have been the Stone Cold Steve Austin torso. Hell, it could have even been a different one. Slander. Slander 10304 with the win. Beautiful. Great, brother. Great, brother. Again, you are going to get the World Tag titles thrown in there. So you've got a set of World Tag titles with two Elite Legends figures of some amazing figures here. So huge shout out to you, man. Great, great purchase right there, man. Great purchase. Slander with the with the Epic W. But yeah, the this torso right here, let's go ahead and discuss it. This torso right here, horrific. Should have absent. Have you ever seen JBL or Bradshaw this lean in your entire life? Didn't happen, man. Did not happen. You should have some MDT signed cards with it. Love to have some. Well, it's funny you mentioned that because we kind of do have that, man. If you guys are wanting to, to buy something or something like that, and you want to get in on the uh you want to get in on that, you can purchase this. This is from the Patreon package. This is a card right here. It says, Thank you for being a huge supporter of my damn toys. You get the logo, it's this zebra print card. I appreciate more you I appreciate you more than you know, Brad. And then on the back, I will personally sign it to you right there. And then you also get the MDT crowd sign here. And then you also get the MDT sticker. So this is 10 bucks, and then you get, you know, essentially an autograph card. So there's that, man. So I, I appreciate that, man. So if you guys are interested in that, that is in the Buy It Now section. Again, that's Patreon exclusive. Only Patreon members even get that. They get that for signing up to the Patreon at the, you know, the $10 mark. So you said it's a crazy Toro. For the purchase of one of the Patreon packages, man. You guys are awesome. Let's move on to another belt. Since we've been kind of keeping this trend of purchasing a purchasing a belt, purchasing a, you know, the difference back and forth, purchasing a figure, purchasing a belt. Let's move on to another belt. And the next one is gonna be a pretty epic one. Now, this is a custom that I made myself actually, uh years ago, actually. And so this is gonna be a custom hardcore championship, man. Look at this right here. This is a hardcore championship, very tough championship to come by to be honest with you uh you can't really find this and i went a step further and i added in some some reddish paint some bluish paint so not only are you getting the hardcore championship but you're getting the hardcore championship actually custom painted by your truly so i made that years ago i want to say i made that before the channel even started so that's a this is a good stuff right here man great stuff here we go we're gonna run this thing up man let's go ahead and put it on the put it on the stand right there I want to give you a good look at it, but I'm, I feel like I'm messing everything up. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and find this. And then we – are you going to sell the new World Heavyweight Championship? Are you referring to the version that Seth Rollins is holding? Is that what you're talking about? Because this is kind of a retro-themed thing, but anything can happen. Anything can happen in an MDT whatnot stream, man. Let's go ahead and set this up. We are setting it up, man. Here we go. Hardcore Championship live and ready to go. Thanks. So somebody must have already must have already bid it up right there, man. Hardcore championship. Do you like it on the rotating base, or would y'all rather me just hold it right here and talk about it a little bit? Because I feel like the the rotating base is kind of screwing it up. But we do have the hardcore championship. This championship again is kind of tough to come by. It came with what? It came with the ringside exclusive cane, and then it came in that old belt pack. Is that the only is that the only time we got this? I, I can't remember exactly, but that is I think that's the only time you can really get this. Is that Mario? Mario with the 
hardcore championship. Hell yeah. Good, good, good win right there, man. W to Mario, man. Thank you so much, brother. So we got the hardcore championship. This has been in my collection a long time, man. So this is sentimental right now. I'm, I'm shipping this off, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Hardcore championship. Very tough, difficult to buy. I know some of the, dude, some of the WWE action figure belts go for just nutty money for just ridiculous, man. Huge shout out to S Sergeant Koss or SGTCAS82 for purchasing a Patreon, a Patreon pack, man. Thank you so very, very much for that, man. Let's, uh, let's run it. Uh, let's do a figure now. Do you have a Brian Kendrick? I do not have a Brian Kendrick or I have a Brian Kendrick. It's just not in this stream specifically um for tonight but maybe we have that on the next stream or something like that man but let's go do you have AEW maybe maybe you have AEW but the thing uh, the thing about running AEW items uh I thought about running some AEW items in this stream but since it is kind of retro themed and we're trying to do things that are kind of throwing it back AEW have been around very long you know so you kind of have to you know there's sort of a fence you have to straddle with that can't wait to bid on the mystery stuff. Yeah, the mystery stuff's epic. I'm pretty excited for the mystery stuff, man. Pretty excited for the mystery stuff. Can't wait for you guys to see that stuff. So we will see what we got. To start a pick that, do I need an Ultimate Edition ring? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. When are you running Rocky Maivia? Let's run it now. Let's run it now. The scene you did for the holiday said. Uh, the hint to the mystery stuff? Ah, uh, nah, man. You got to just stay tuned. Stay tuned. It's good stuff. It It does. It does kind of revolve around re this wrestling weekend, though. I can I can tell you that. I can tell you that. That's my only hint that I'm giving. Only hint that I'm giving. All right, man. Roll Tide to Winter Figs. Here we go. We got... Do you fig hunt in Mississippi? No, sir. No, sir, I do not. I do not fig hunt in Mississippi most of the time. Uh, you know, my toy hunts, uh, we only have like three stores here. So usually I'm trying to... Usually, I'm just trying to go home and get back. That's usually what I'm trying to do. Grand Metal League is the mystery thing up top. No, it is not, but I'm glad you mentioned that. We've already talked about Grand Metal League, so you're a little behind, Brad. You're a little behind, Mike. A little bit behind there. How often do you plan on doing shows? Uh, it just depends, man. It depends on how often how often uh, I decide to do so, I guess. That's a stupid answer. What a terrible answer. I apologize for that. I, I want to do more. It'll just, again, it's going to be based on this and based on like certain items I have and things. Uh, yeah, yeah. You're behind Mike. C catch up, Brad. Everybody, everybody troll Mike right now. No, I'm kidding. All right, man, let's run this Rocky Maivia figure. Now this is nice to know. I want you guys to know this is the original Rocky Maivia. This is not the 60th anniversary version. This is the original target exclusive version. I know both versions were target exclusive, but this is the version that was years ago, like 2015 or 2014, whenever that figure was. So this is not the most recent 60th anniversary version. So, yeah, this is the OG, man. So if you guys want that OG rock, this is your opportunity. Again, we're starting out at a dollar. It's not going to be anything crazy, man. We are getting into it. Here we go. We are going on Rocky Maivia, man. Here we go. Do you have a Paul London? I do not have a Paul London, man. Huge shout out to everybody following, man. I appreciate everybody. Have you found the Mountain Dew MDT fig? I have not. I have not found. I have not found that figure, man. Do you know when the pick fed's coming back? Very soon, man. Very, very soon. Very soon. Are you selling any Cenas? No, because the stream theme was supposed to be 80s and 90s. So specifically, no Cenas today. But I'm hoping that's going to give me a lot more wiggle room, I think, for the WrestleMania stream because we're going to be able to do WrestleMania themed items. We're going to be able to do some cool stuff there. The new arena you made was epic. I appreciate that, brother. I appreciate all you guys. You guys are awesome. Again, if you guys are joining in on YouTube, you got to go over to Whatnot in order to get this thing, man. Gregory Burr with the W, man. Gregory Burr, Target Exclusive Elite Rocky Maivia, man. Excellent. Huge shout out to you, bro. Thank you for that. This figure, Loki, was very, very awesome. I, li I like this figure a lot. And I think that it's a great figure. So this is a good one. Good job, Gregory, for the pickup on the Rocky Maivia. Great stuff right there. Next up, I guess we're going to, again, we're going to keep the theme rolling, man. Keep the theme rolling. We're going to go over to the belts now, and we're going to run another belt here. So next up, we have, let me see what the hell we got. What do we have cooking over here? Let's do something different. We have, uh, let's do, you know what? Let's do a belt lot. How about that? Let's do a belt lot. We're going to do four belts at one time right here, man. Sell me your WrestleMania 39 stage. I don't have that. That's not me, Brad. I don't have a WrestleMania 39 stage. I know a couple people that made one, but that was not me. Do you have the sting with the red face? I do, but it was actually sent to me 
by my man Anthony. So I'm not gonna be giving that away. I don't. I, anything that's sent to me, I keep it close to the vest, man. I'm not gonna be selling. If anybody's ever sent anything into the channel or customized it and sent it in or something, I only sell things that are that I have like obtained myself. I'm not gonna sell. A, like if you gift me with something, man, it would be very rude. I think to turn around and sell an item that I was given. You know what I'm saying? That that would be, that would just be, I don't know. I, that's, that's kind of, I don't know if it's a moral, but it's, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't mess with that, Brad. I don't, I don't really mess with that. All right. So we're going to run the next thing here. And I don't really know the best way to do this. I tried to think of a way to, uh, I tried to think of a way to display these belts, but there's really not a good way to do so. I guess the only way we could do that is, I need to like hold them. Maybe I could like put them on my finger or something like that, but it's kind of difficult to hold all four of these at the same time. Let's see. Uh, I also, I really wanted, I really wanted to get some Hardy boys for this stream as well. Like some custom Hardy boys could make it happen. Kind of ran out of time. So maybe we can make some of those for the next stream as well. Any surfer stings being put on auction? Uh, you know what? I actually, I might, I might have something for you. Not at this juncture, but I might have something. Hope for a story. So if you, I have like a whole video, I think on, um, I have a whole video on the Brad story on why I call people Brad. It's a whole entire thing that would be difficult to kind of dive into, but is there going to be a whole stream on customs? Yeah, I, I do want to do that. I do definitely want to do that eventually. Here we go, man. All right. We're going to do a belt lot. It's going to be for four world championships. You have the WWF title. You have the World Heavyweight Big Gold. You have the old Hogan title. And then you have the Winged Eagle, man. We're going to do all four of these at one time. And so, yeah, I'm also working on that. I do want to do a stream of all, like, pick-fed related stuff. So you get four belts, man. Four belts. Is it on my channel? It is on my channel. You can go to the channel, and you can actually... You can pick up all of uh, you can pick up on the store. There's two different versions. Go to the updated version, uh, and I dive into the the whole lore, the entire lore, the whole thing. But here we go for the belt lot of the world championships right here, man. Let's see, not the mystery item. Where's it at? Sorry, I also apologize if I'm shaking the hell out of the screen, man. Let's see. Appreciate everyone jumping in tonight. You guys are awesome. Here we go. So we have all four of these belts, man. You get four championships. You know, I guess if you got it for 20 bucks like it is right now, that'd be $5 a title. And so that'd be a pretty good thing there. Uh, yeah, these they, they, these are these are great, man. And Mattel, I feel like I've heard people say that Jack's made the best belts. I don't think so. I, I'm not agreeing with that, man. I think for sure Mattel makes the best belts. Uh, I mean, if we're being honest, Dan Turnquist makes the best belts. The custom belts you're getting here tonight are the best belts in the game. However, Mattel, to be a big company and to make these for our action figures, I think they do a pretty damn good job. So here you go, man. You got four championships right here, world title lot. You get all four of these belts, man. Here we go. Beck, Kenneth, Kenneth Beck. You shot a few, man. Great W. Well, it says, says that the payment failed, but I don't know if I'm even supposed to. I don't know what's up with that, but. Anyways, we are running it up next to the next one for the belt lot. And so that is our first belt lot there. Let's go. All right. Let's get into another. Let's get into another figure here. Payment needs to be fixed or it didn't sell. All right, man. So. Kenneth Beck, you heard it. You heard it there. I I don't know how a lot of this, you know, behind the scenes works. This is my first stream. You know, again, we're gonna have a lot of probably technical issues. I'm gonna be bumping the camera. I will figure it out eventually. But yeah, get the get the payment fixed. Beck Kenneth or Kenneth Beck, so that Kenneth Beck is Kenneth Beck. Not, am I tripping? Is that is that the name of Mysterio? I don't know. I don't know. We may have to rerun that one. I don't know. We'll have to see about that. But. I could be tripping, though. Am I right about that? Is that Mysterio? I, I don't know. None of us. Monthly Rumble? Yeah, the monthly the, the monthly Rumbles will return eventually as well. Kind of difficult when we're trying to get other things. Okay, it says the payment succeeded. Good. Let's go. Let's go. Clap it. Clap it. Let's go. W's in the chat for Kenneth Beck. Am I, is that not the name of Mysterio? Am I, am I wrong? 
Am I wrong? I don't know. Nonetheless, let's run it up. Next one we got, let, let's do a custom. Let's do a custom here. Now, this figure, I was excited to make this. This is something, Quentin Beck. That's that's it, Quentin Beck. Okay, I knew I wasn't dumb. Okay, you're, you're correct. Maybe he's related to him. I don't know. This figure I was really excited about, man. We have this Stone Cold Steve Austin. Now, this is the Royal Rumble Elite. We have the BMF right here. I am actually going to touch that up. I can notice that the B is actually a little, it's not like I like. I'm going to fix the B before I ship this out. So we have the Stone Cold Steve Austin BMF vest here. And on the back, it says, hell yeah. And you know, you know damn well Mattel ain't releasing that, Brad. You know damn well that's not going to happen. You're never going to get a custom like this. And you're not going to, it also has details in the skull. So this is hand painted by me. And it is the BMF hell yeah vest. And we are going to do this. This is one. Of, this is a whatnot exclusive custom. This is a whatnot exclusive custom that uh, I'm pretty sure. I don't even think I showed this off in a video. Besides a small little thing, I didn't really. I, I did a TikTok with it or something, or I did a little video with it. So let's go, man. Yeah, his head shape is definitely off, but you could easily head swap it with the ultimate. And so that's another thing there. That's what's kind of good about this figure in general is you could you could upgrade it in some different ways. But we're going to run the hell yeah Austin here. I appreciate everybody that's purchased something so far. Again, man, if you guys want some, check out some of the buy it now items because there are some some good stuff in there that you guys may want to get in on there. But we're about to run this hell yeah Stone Cold Steve Austin, who's one of the goats, one of my personal goats as well. Here we go, man. We have Stone Cold Steve Austin. Hell yeah. I guess it's perfect. I wish that if this was on 316, we could have done it. Maybe I can do a stream once all just Austin stuff, but it's a 316 stream. But we have the hell yeah BMF. I'm pretty sure BMF stands for bad mother. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm pretty sure. Or it stands for bald mother effer. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's it's bad mother, but bad mother effer. But yeah, there you go. I really, uh, yeah, Stone Cold's the one that got me into watching Rocky Wrestling was a kid rocking. Yeah, I was that kid too, man. I was three years old watching or, or uh, rocking Stone Cold Steve Austin shirts as a kid. So I, I lived the life, man. Got to love it. Got to love Stone Cold Steve Austin, man. And a great figure, man. Paul Ohio with the W on the Hell Yeah Austin right here, man. Hell yes. Great, dude. Great figure. I Dude, Austin. It, it's awesome, too, because... His his figures are you know they're kind of plain Jane. I'm gonna be real. They're they're really they're kind of plain Jane, right? They're not the most you know best things to do here. OMR for me one more round. Yeah, I have that. I have a few of those. But we did that on they did that on the ultimate, right? They did it on the ultimate and the Hall of Fame elite. But Paul Ohio, man, great stuff. But yeah, his figures are kind of plain, but they make some damn good ones. And I tried to. I think you make more money if you turn off sudden death. Interesting. Is that where it like bumps it? Doesn't that like bump it up at the end? Something like that. If you turn that off, does it do, does it bump the, the seconds up afterwards? Okay. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Well, huge shout out to Paul Ohio. Well, everybody, now that we're not doing sudden death, maybe, uh, I don't know if things may get more interesting. Let's see what goes down here. I don't know. I kind of like the snipe method though. You know, I, that's how you win the Ebays. That's how you win eBay stuff. What's the difference between the Chase and regular Superstar Sogan? We'll get into it, but it's basically just the the um, the boot colors. The boot and trunks are are blue on the Chase, and they're yellow on the regular edition. So we'll get into that. But let's go back to some belts here. And speaking of Stone Cold Steve Austin, I guess we're going to get into one of his rivals and somebody that is pretty popular right now, actually. It's going to be none other than Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and we're going to put up the Brahma Bull Championship. This came with the Elite 100 Rock, and it is a fantastic piece. God in heaven. See, now when I move it closer, it's going to be like way out there, and then if you if you center it, I don't know. It's not that bad. Maybe I just need to stop being so stupid and stop messing with it. I don't know, but let's go. Yeah, it does come with a new rock basic. There is a new rock basic that does come with the Brahma Bull title, but this one came with the Elite 100 rock, and so we are going to run this one right here, man. Really enjoying the rock's work right now, man. He's he's killing it. The the F your story thing he told to Cody and all that stuff was amazing, so I'm really looking forward to WrestleMania. Where in the hell is the Brahma Bull Championship on this thing here? Did I miss it? Am I Okay, here it is. All right. So, we are going to run the Brahma Bull Championship right here. 
Came with the Elite 100 Rock, which honestly, weird, weird, weird figure, man. Love the jersey. The trunks are fine. That head sculpt was abysmal, man. Abysmal, abysmal head sculpt. How do you get your name in the drawing for the cane? All you have to do is f make sure you're following me on here. So if you guys are wanting to get in the giveaway for the Ultimate Edition cane, make sure you're following me on here. And then all you have to do is be live in the stream. You don't have to like talk or anything. You just have to be in the stream while following me while I'm running the giveaway. And I will pin it. I'll definitely pin it in here so you can join our. I think that's how it works. So huge shout out to Rich right there, man. Yeah, that's how we're going to run it up. But Bravo Bull Championship, man. Here we go. Great title to go along in your collection, man. It's really a beautiful title. I can't believe it. And another one is the Smoking Skull Belt. Now, we do have a custom Smoking Skull Championship that we're going to be selling here tonight. But uh, all's will, ALS will. He shout out to you, brother. He shout out to you for the win of the Elite 100 Brahma Bull Championship. All right, there you go. There you go. This guy knows what he's talking about. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. So there you go. All right, so the Brahma Bull Championship again. The Smoking Skull. I was talking about the Smoking Skull Championship. You know, we've only gotten that, what, like twice ever? It was with the Ringside Exclusive and the Finding Moments Austin. And I had like... I swear to God, I had like seven of them, but then I customized some, I sold some, and now I want to beat my own A because I don't think I have any now. So you guys are getting a title belt tonight that I don't, I don't even know. So, and actually that's another thing is I don't, I, there's a lot of figures that I don't own. And a lot of, I feel like a lot of people think that, you know, if you have a YouTube channel and you talk about WWE action figures, you have every single figure. I'm missing a ton of figures, man. I mean, I have a, a dumb, ridiculous collection, but at the same time, I don't have everything. I don't have everything, man. So that that is good stuff, man. Yeah, man. Great bid right there on the Rock on the Brawl Bowl Championship, man. Are you selling the Ultimate Rock with the jogging jumpsuit? Not in this specific stream, but I don't know. Stay tuned. Maybe something happens. You know, I might. I might. Uh, there might be a thing that comes comes with it. There. You shut up, biggest daddy. I appreciate it, man. Thank you guys so very much for coming in. Jealous of your Cena collection. I appreciate it, man. Do you need? Do you need a complete Ron Simmons Hall of Champions? I do not, Brad. I do not. But that's another figure I don't have. That's See, there's another one. That is another one that I do not own. All right, let's get into another figure here. And let's, you know what? We're going to go rapid fire, man. We're going to go rapid fire. And we're going to remove the belt holder here. Good question. Did somebody ask a question or did I ask a question? I don't remember what the hell I said. What's your ultimate grail that you've yet to collect? Well, it was the damn ringside exclusive Wolfpack Sting until my, my boy hooked me up with it, man. That blew my mind. I did not expect that. So that figure was up there. Another grail look for is the Defining Moments Triple H. That's another figure I don't have. Any idea when the Hollywood Hogan Ultimate Hot Dog Tan will hit retail? That will, that will uh, probably hit, I would guess, like end of spring maybe, if I had to guess. Huge shout-out to Lizmore, man. Huge shout-out to Lizmore for purchasing an MDT patron pack, man. We're going to be putting up this Rick Rude. Now, I'm going to be real. This figure, I think you're going to be able to get a really good deal on this figure because this figure, I feel like it's shelf-warmed everywhere. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm tripping. But this figure was shelf-warming everywhere. Midnight is the is the sting hitting it? Yeah, this fig's shelf warm. All right? So you, who the hell knows? You are going to get the robe. I took the robe off, so it didn't stain. Okay? I did do that. But is the sting Shop AEW going up at midnight? Is that a thing? Any idea when the Rock Family 3-pack is coming out? I would guess. I appreciate that, Fritz. I would guess that um, the Rock Family 3-pack would probably hit around that same time, if I had to guess. So that should be fun. Let's see. Yeah, it's already been found on the West Coast, I do believe, man. That's actually true. So we'll have to see. But this figure was a shelf warmer. But yeah, I don't think you can really find it anymore, man. So if you're looking to add this to your collection, now's the time, man. Now is the time. Rick Rude. Here we go. Yeah, I just, I wasn't a huge fan of this figure. And I I had a couple sitting around, so I figured... You know, this is a good time to to get rid of one of them because I I'd rather you you know people out there that really really want this figure to own this figure. It comes with the extra hands. Yeah, I am anybody that purchases a figure here tonight. If it comes with interchangeable hands, I'm going to include the interchangeable hands. As far as the other accessories, I'm trying to look around. I don't think there was anything else that really came with extra accessories. But if it did, I'm going to do my best to include every single thing. I do believe it's going to come with everything though. I have those set off to the side and whatnot, but. Which 
CM Punk figure do I want Mattel to make first? Um, the basic Macho Man would be cool. I really, I would love to see them make, uh, let's see. I don't know. There's so many figures, man. I really just want the Ultimate Edition. I really just want the Ultimate Edition Money in the Bank 2011. That's what I really want. I don't really care. Anything else outside of that, you know, it is what it is. B18 Banks. Huge shout out to you, man. Huge shout out to you. I appreciate that. Thoughts on the new Walmart exclusive Sting? I did upload. I did upload a full video this morning talking about the entire, you know, lore of the entire situation. There goes Rick Rude. Oh my God! I hit the camera. Um, yeah, congrats to Banks, man. Um, so I did do a full video this morning on it, and so I, t I it's like 17 minutes, I think, of me ranting and raving about it, and and you know exactly what you know I expect out of the figure and stuff. Is there a date on the Sting Supreme? There is, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so, but it is, you got to think about it. It is the Supreme Series 5. So they, I do believe that AEW and Jazzwares is looking at the CM Punk Walmart exclusive. I do believe they're looking at that as their Series 4 figure. So then the Series 5 figure is Sting. So I would imagine, surely it wouldn't be that long. And I do believe they already have prototypes in hand. I'm not going to mention nothing here. But I do believe they're expected to showcase the prototype here here shortly. And I imagine if they have that, it's going to be kind of like the one. The, I think it is one of the final prototypes before it does come out. But you never know, man. I mean, AEW's distribution is a little crazy. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It could be a could be a thing there. But don't call me Shirley. I get the reference. Uh, let's go. Let's see. So is Supreme going to be one per wave and Walmart exclusive? Yes, Walmart exclusive. Every Supreme from now on is Walmart exclusive unless it's uh, Jazzwares Vault exclusive. So that is the thing. That is the entire thing there. Let's see. Uh, surely you can't be serious. I don't even know what that's about. Surely you can't be. Is Yes, Supremes are. Yeah, they are. They're completely Walmart exclusive now. Very sad. What was the head scan you used for your custom figure? I believe it's a, a Psycho Sid figure, actually. And... Um, so that was that was somebody that made that. Somebody else made that head sculpt. I think it was BW that first did that, and then somebody else. But let's get into our next. Let's get into our next one. Let's see. Uh, what do we have here? Did we just do a belt? No, that was the Rick Rude. Okay, the Rick Rude went. So now we can move on to, you know what? Let's do another. Let's do another block intercontinental championship, man. So anybody that missed out the first time, you're going to have an opportunity right here, man. The Block Intercontinental Championship is going to be up for grabs right here. We did have two of these, so we're going to run this one back and see if maybe somebody wants to buy the second one as well. Was it Bogey that bought the first one, or maybe I'm tripping? I can't remember exactly. Hold up. I don't know if I can even find the second one. I may have to, like... I'm not finding the second one. I, I know that I said that... I think you can run it again, right? Let's see. Um, let's see, or can I like, can't you like copy an item or something or like quick add? That's what I need to do. Just do a quick add. Let's see. Apologize for the wait, man. I'm just going to do a quick add right here and then we'll. We'll sell this one here. So appreciate everybody's patience. Let's see. One dollar. There we go. And now we're running it. Appreciate everybody coming by, man. You guys are amazing. I appreciate the support in the stream so far. Let's go. Apologize for all of the silence here. Just trying to get this up and running. It's my fault. These are the things that I'm trying to learn, man. Trying to learn these things. But here we go. IC title, man. There it is. I have an opportunity to block IC title again. Huge shout out to Dan Turnquist. Dan Turnquist is the maker of all of our custom belts tonight. All the custom belts come from Dan Turnquist. He has an Instagram. I think it's Turnquist underscore custom fig belts or something like that. I'll do my best to uh, – I wish I could showcase it. Maybe I can – actually, I'm going to pull it up on my other – if you guys are watching this on YouTube again, go check out whatnot. Go go download whatnot and join on, man. 
so you guys can get in here. But yeah, we Dan, Dan Turnquist. It's Dan, it's Turnquist underscore Fig underscore Belts on Instagram. He is such an unbelievable customizer. He's unreal. So we have a Block Intercontinental Championship, man. It's a great belt. It's a great belt here. Bogey. So did Bogey win both of them, or am I am I tripping? I could. I I don't remember. I don't remember. But this, you know what? This would look sick on. Is it the is it the defining moments? Macho Man Randy Savage. This would look unbelievable. There it is. Follow follow this man on Instagram, man. Follow this man on Instagram. He's unreal. He's the best. Go follow him. He definitely deserves it. So huge shout out to Bogey for the W there on the Intercontinental Champion. Jeremiah was the other one. That's right. Sorry about that, Jeremiah. I think Bogey won the first the first auction for the Shawn Michaels. He won the Shawn Michaels. That's what it was. That's what it was. All right. Good stuff, man. Great stuff right there. So now that we have done the IC belt, I guess we can run it back. And let's do the Legends Greatest Hits. Let's take a look at the uh, huge shout out to jpg434 for purchasing a patreon package man we're gonna put up the legends greatest hits british bulldog figure very cool figure right here it's weird because the great the legends greatest hits figures i feel like they were here and they were gone like immediately so that was the whole thing if you guys want to purchase something check out the buy it nows if you guys don't want to wait for the did you already do the Attitude Ring giveaway? I did not. It is at the end of the stream. We're going to do it dead last after the mystery items, after everything. We're going to do the mystery items. We're going to do the other custom. We have like a lot of stuff here still for sale, man. So we have a lot of good stuff, man. Any chance you have another Rocky My Idea? I might. I just might. You know what? If if you're going to buy it, I might. I just might. Here we go. Let's see. Is that a custom Heart Foundation vest? It's not custom. This came from... Mattel. Mattel made this entire figure. This is not me. Now, this is something I want to mention right now. All right. These arms, they need to put these arms on Kevin Owens. Why are they not putting these arms on Kevin Owens? Ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Nonetheless, let's run the British Bulldog here and let's get it going. The user face or the interface on this is pretty damn easy, I'd say. I think it's a pretty good interface. It's not too bad. Here we go. Legends Greatest Hits. They're going to put those on the ultimate. They damn better. They better, man. They definitely better. But British Bulldog, will you follow me on YouTube when I start one? Sure, brother. Why not? Got to support everybody around here. KO has won me over. If you weren't a KO fan, man, that sickens me. That makes me want to vomit. You know what? Stream canceled after that. After I just saw that, I can't even believe those words. He's he's unreal, man. He's, he's honestly, I say it all the time, he's top five in the world. He's definitely, he's up there. He is, he is, he's top five in the world. He's great, but never liked Owens. Oh, oh, just devastating. Do you have a white IC title for buy now? I do not, but it is included in a belt lot that we have on here. Do you have any Turnquist winged eagle belts? Not any winged eagles, but we do have a big eagle. We do have a big eagle, and so it should be good, man. Do you have Virgil? I do have one Virgil, but it's the Build-A-Figure, and I just got it, so I don't really want to let it go. We the Ones won, won the auction. Wow. We the Ones won. We the Ones won, won the auction. However, you got to fix your payment method. So fix your payment method. Pass that along there, brother. Ones, Ones, won. Yeah, that's that's a definite mouthful. All right. Do you like the new Adam Copeland AEW figure? I think it looks solid, man. I'm I'm pretty intrigued with it. Now, again, I did uh, the, after the stream. You need to, if you didn't see my video this morning on all the news, definitely go check that out. We we discussed that. We discussed that at like it's like 15 minutes of me just talking about the figure, the the Edge figure, the Sting figure, the Brian Danielson, all that different stuff. So, uh, all right. Well, I you need the Rocky My Via. I'm not going to put up the Rocky My Via until. We get through all these other items, man. So if you want to stay tuned for that, you can get in on the giveaway as well. So we'll, we'll get into that as well. But um, we the ones, ones, one. I don't know what the hell I just said. Uh, it says to fix your payment method. So that's the that's the deal there. All right, let's move on to, I guess we're going to run, uh, you know what, let's run. This one's kind of a throwback here, and this would look great on your Hulk Hogan's, man. We have this custom 84 Hogan belt, and so you guys can see it even has Hulk Hogan's nameplate right there. So this is great. This is great for any Hulk Hogan out there, any Hulk Hogan figures, all the different Hulk Hogan figures that we have. 
check that for Mattel. This is a great option to display this with. But here we go, man. 1984 Hulk Hogan Custom Championship would look beautiful on any on any Hulk Hogan belt that you have out, or any Hulk Hogan figure that you want to put it with. The Ultimate Edition 13, you have all those different figures that Mattel has given us. You you can definitely get in on that. Any Ray figures today? I don't know. I don't know, man. I have to see. I have to see about that. Thoughts on Thanos, Ice King, Attire, Seth Basic, rather than the Elite Form. Yeah, I wanted to... I really would like to make a whole video on, on times that Mattel has screwed us over in that category. Because I feel like they've done that a lot, man. They have given us figures that should have been Elites or Ultimates. And they ended up, you know, not doing that. They gave us a Basic Form, which is just terrible. So... I appreciate that, Sammy's Figs. Appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in, man. Thoughts on should I have McDonald's? Absolutely. 100%. Unless you had it yesterday. If you had it yesterday, don't have it today. Yeah, the white Bobby Lashley gear that they put in the damn championship battle pack, man. That is just sickening. Absolute sickening. All right, man. Here we go. 1984. 1984 Hogan belt. Bogey again, man. Bogey killing it right now. He's going to have a massive, a massive package coming because he is he has made quite a few purchases here tonight, man. He shout out to you, brother. Another W for you. Let's go. How much for Naked Metal League? Well, Brad, if I didn't need that figure, it would be different. I actually traded the chase a long time ago, and it made me sick. It made me sick that I sold that. Or I like tr I traded it, I think, or something. Do you think an AEW Supreme MJF is on the way? I don't know. I, I, I don't think there's any like signs pointing towards one, but I'm not going to say that that's not a thing that could happen. So I don't know. But all right, man. There we go. Let's go. You know what? Let's do a men on card figure, man. Let's get into it. Let's do a men on card figure. We're going to run the next one we have here. And I actually, I found, uh, I'm not going to do the chase first. I'm going to do the regular edition. We're going to do the regular Superstars Hulk Hogan right here, man. And this figure, I found the chase yesterday, and this is the regular edition. So you're going to have an opportunity to own either one here as we run it. It is punched, so that is a thing. Oh, my. Oh, my God in heaven. I'm trying to destroy the figure just live on air. What in the hell? I don't think it damaged it in any way, but certainly worth certainly worth talking about. All right, this is the regular edition. Here we go. And here we go, man. So we are running the Superstars Hulk Hogan here. It is mint on card. It's in pretty damn good condition here. Like, slight bend right there. Slight bend right there. It is punched, but everything else besides this slight bend and this slight bend, pretty minty fresh, man. Pretty minty fresh right there. So this is, uh, yeah, the Superstars Hulk Hogan figure. I, I love these figures, but I can never effing find them. So it's just, that's just the way. It's just the way it is, man. So also, if uh, no spamming in the chat, man, I feel like that should just be a thing. So if they're spamming or like a repeat of questions, man. I, uh, mods definitely take care of that, you know, so I appreciate that. But, you know, we're here to do, look at this right now, $9. That's a steal for this Hulk Hogan right now. Steal for this Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan superstars figure, men on card. Can you put that outfit on an elite? I don't think I've seen that. I imagine it would be too short, but who the hell knows, man? Who knows what could happen there? But we have the regular edition right here. Favorite packaging for ringside exclusive or store exclusive wave. Mm, I don't know, man, to be honest. West Puckett won the auction, man. $20. Great. Under retail price. Money. That is money. Under retail. So that's that's one of the great things about Whatnot, man. You can get a lot of stuff that's under a retail price. So that is excellent stuff right there. I don't remember when I purchased this. 
But that's a steal. Huge steal to West Puckett right there, man. Good stuff. Great W for West Puckett on the Superstars Hulk Hogan. Now, we are going to do the chase later in the, in the stream. But here we go. Let's move on to our next item that we're going to have here. Uh, let's see. Mox box. Hey, Brad, looks like you got the best football stream on whatnot. It's most definitely the best football stream. There's damn good football games happening over here right now. Any angle figs? I don't know, man. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. We might have some angle figs on here. But at this time, we're going to take a ship from the Diet Doozy. So we're going to have a nice moment of silence for the Diet Doozy ship. Crispy. All right. Back at it. Can't take too long. Can I buy that MDT door? This is not a door, actually. It's just like a... I mean, I guess technically it's a door, but it doesn't open or anything. It's just a backdrop. All right, here we go. Let's move on to our next item. Dude, the, the mystery items I'm excited for. I'm excited for the mystery items. You guys are going to be hopefully hyped for that. Let me buy that rotating base. We need to do a stream where it's just nothing. There's just nothing. in. The, you know, we have like this whole backdrop and there's a bunch of items. And then one by one, we just take the little things. It doesn't matter how small it is, like a piece of like, I don't know, just a piece of trash right there. We'll, we'll scoop it up and we'll just put it on the screen and you buy that. And we, and everything must go until there's nothing left on screen. That would actually be a cool idea. So we'll see about that. Next up, we're going for just sell the background. Now, this whole background right here is I want to change it, but I can't figure out what to change it to. So monthly whatnot rumble, that would actually be badass. We'll see. We'll see how everything goes, man. But let's move on to our next item. We're going to get into... Our next item is going to be none other than finish the story himself's father. Rest in peace to the legend, Dusty. And we're going to be running this WrestleMania Elite. Now, he is complete. He's got his shirt in there and everything like that, man. So, should be a fun one. We have Dusty Rhodes, man. And Dusty Rhodes, great figure, man. Great figure. You know, when you get these larger gentlemen in here, it is a little bit difficult to post him sometimes, but he's great, man. He great. He's great. And the head sculpt's a little weird. I'll be real. God, my knee in heaven, Lord and Jesus and Christ. My knee is so stiff. I had it bent for like six hours. Lord. Gonna have to fight the whole damn bloodline. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be it, dude. I am so excited. So excited. Did you see the last play from the Rose Bowl versus Michigan? Yeah, I saw the last play from the Rose Bowl versus Michigan. Why are you bringing up bad memories, Brad? Oh, God in heaven. Dusty Rose, man. Great figure right here. WrestleMania Elite. Um, one thing that I know this is kind of off topic, but I, I thought of WrestleMania Elite, and that's why it kind of brought me here. Epic Banana with the W on the Dusty, man. Good stuff. Good stuff there for the Dusty Rose. All right, so this is what this is what uh, ran it straight to defenders. Yeah, awful. Not good stuff. Is this your first one on stream? It is. It is. So if that's why it sounds like I'm all over the place, you know, wanted to have a little bit more structure, wrote down some damn, wrote down some notes. The notes went out the window as soon as I hit record. You know, that's how things go sometimes. We have a stream for 2000s figs. If you mean characters or actual figures from the 2000s, that's two different, two different things there. But you shout out to Epic Banana. But speaking of WrestleMania figures, speaking of the WrestleMania figures here, man, um, at the Superstore last year at WrestleMania, they had 3,500, 3,500 Rock Elites, like the, you know, the WrestleMania 18 Rock Elite. Fantastic figure. However, I say that because when we go to, when we go to WrestleMania again this year, they're going to have WrestleMania 40 Elites, but the whole wave is just assery. So, <laughs> What are you going to buy, Brad? You're not going to buy nothing. The whole wave is going to be sitting there. So that's gonna, just going to be a whole thing. So we'll see about that, man. But let's get into, uh, yeah, that, that. I'll be real. I'll be real. The Rock figure is solid. The McAfee, the formula is a little weird. All right. But the Rock figure is good. I just hate that it's missing the tattoo. But I like that Rock figure. And I don't know. I might buy a Cena. Now I'm, I'm literally walking back everything I just said. But nonetheless, let's get into another belt here, man. Let's get into our custom European Championship, man. Again, huge shout out to my man Dan Turnquist. 
Huge shout out to Dan Turnquist. He is the boss, man. He's the best. Man is the best on the planet and making these custom belts. And I think we're we're trying to work together. We haven't ironed out the details, but we're probably we might do a full stream of just custom belts and figure action figure belts, man. So we're we're working on that. We'll see what comes of that. But we are gonna run this European championship right here. And it's awesome because it has the block WWF logo, man. I mean, you're not you're not getting that from anybody. You're not getting that from anybody, man. This is this is something you're not gonna see anywhere else. So you know Mattel can't put the WWF on there. It's not gonna have this matte, shiny, nice finish on there. It's got all the logos on it. It is beautiful. And my favorite part is this little like tag at the end here, the WWF block logo. You're not getting that, man. You're just you're just not. So I love some belts too, man. These are great. And Dan is such a good customizer, man. They're 3D printed beautifully. They're very clean. He's got all the good stuff going on. So I appreciate Dan, man, all, all his contributions here for the stream here tonight. But European Championship is running wild, and you could put this on a slew of figures. And every time I look at this championship, I think of – I think of just bring it. That's what I think of for whatever reason. I think it's just because that title was on there. Big Papa Porto wins the European Championship. That's pretty cool, man. Yeah, for fi Forbidden Figurines does make really good belts as well. They absolutely do. But I prefer Dan's, I do believe. I do believe I, I prefer Dan's at this current juncture. But Figurines does, or Forbidden Figurines makes insane titles as well. There's so many talented, dude. There are. I always say this a lot in my videos. There's so many talented individuals in this space that do all kinds of stuff. So, you know, different stuff. Let's go. Uh, I'll have to see when I get my damn belts. There you go. There you go. Run a Cody. Not running a Cody at this juncture, man. Not running a Cody right now. But we are going to run the Chase. The Chase Hulk Hogan Superstars figure, man. So this is... The chase. So this is the re this is not the regular. This is the chase. You guys can see right here. He does have the blue boots right here. So this is the chase. I don't. It's kind of similar to the other one. It's got a little slight bend here. Not really a bend over here. Maybe a slight one there. Oh, there's a little bit of rippage right there, but it's not. I don't think it's anything super concerning. A little bit of uh, a little bit of rip there. Well, anyway, we're just gonna let the we're gonna let the auction. Do itself, man. Maybe you want to open it. Maybe you want to purchase this for this be your opener. And I imagine this one's probably not going to run you. I mean, the last one you got below retail. So hopefully maybe this one will do the same. We'll have to see about that. But let's go to the Chase Superstars Hulk Hogan. I love these figures again, man, but they are just, they're so hard to find, man. They're very difficult to find. And so, yeah. We will see how this goes. Get the Chase Hulk Hogan here. Love this. I love these figures, but again, it is so hard to find. It's just kind of pointless. So there's that. But I see these figs at Walmart a lot. Yeah, you can find some, but you, it's hard to find a diverse selection of characters. You're going to see a lot of Bray Wyatt. You're going to see a lot of the same figures over and over again. You don't get a lot of dif differentiation, even though the figures are great. I wish that if somebody had a whole entire, if somebody had a, an entire superstars collection that i could purchase just one off of every single figure men on card set i would probably do that so that that's probably what i would do but there you go bogey won it there he goes uh, the bogey with another auction win man killing it tonight he wins the chase superstars hogan men on card now bogey if you want me to open this up and ship it loose i will absolutely do that if you want it men on card i can do that as well but you can let me know down in the comment section or what have you um oh big papa parto with the purchase of the Million Dollar Man. Huge shout out to Big Papa Farto for purchasing that, man. What a beast. Mock is cool. All right, brother. Did you see the little damage? Hope you, hopefully you saw the little damage on there. There's a little damage on there, but it's not too, I don't think it's too ridiculous, you know? And if you put it in a Defender, if you put it in a Defender and hung it up on the wall, you're not even, you're not even going to see it. So, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I'm opening it myself. Okay, perfect. All right, bro. Sounds like a good deal, man, but let's see. I know. <laughs> He's got the Sal photo. I love it. You can ship the million dollar man loose. All right, brother. All righty. I'll have to, let me actually, I screenshotted that. I screenshotted that. So I'll have that. All right. Let's get into any stone cold. Yeah, we do have, 
We have two more Stone Cold Steve Austins to auction off here tonight, so that should be fun. But let's get into a championship, and we're actually going to do a pair of championships. If anybody on here, man, this is another thing. Yeah, if you go to that shop icon, you go to the little shop icon, you can kind of pick through there. Awesome Triple HD purchases the retro ring. Huge shout out to you, brother. I appreciate that. Excuse me. Do superstars heads fit on elites no they do not they do not they're a little bit too big but we're gonna be auctioning off the block logo wwf world tag titles right here man but what was that what the, what the hell was i talking about god in heaven bless me i don't remember my mind literally went blank jesus does anybody remember what the hell i was talking about my mind legitimately just went blank just now so i apologize for that are you going to do a review on the WCW ring? Yes, absolutely. Yes, it is two belts. It is two belts. This is a set of tag team championships. These are custom made by Turnquist, Dan Turnquist, and he is a boss for what he has made here today. Who's the fig laying on top of the screen? That is Grand Metalik, so you stay out of his business. All right? I'm just kidding. But that's for surgery. But we're going to run these. That's a double belt bonus. That's a double belt bonus. Let's see. Might as well move the Metal League. No, I, I like the Metal League. All right, I like him. He's resting right now. He's in the he's in the area where that's the pre-surgery area. He's in the prepping room for surgery. That's what that is. All right, here we go. Let's go. We're running these tag titles, and these were made by Dan Turnquist. He is absolutely incredible. Here we go, man. Set of tag team championships. With the WWF logo on there, you're not going to see that from Mattel. So if you want that accuracy in there, that is the best to go. Naked Grand Metal League going to be another staple of the channel. Probably probably should be. Probably should be, to be honest. But, yeah, we're going to be – I'm making a – I'm using him, and I'm using Santos Escobar, and then I'm using Cody Rhodes. So I'm going to be doing some different stuff there with WWE action figure surgery. I will – that's what I – I will be reviewing the WCW Nitro stage with Eric Bischoff. I will be reviewing the new Cody Ultimate. Anything that's brand new that's Mattel, man, I'm probably going to be – I'm probably going to be reviewing it, man. Some things do slip me by, but most of the time I do – I do get my reviews in there. But Crazy Toro wins the set of custom tag team championships, but you need to update your payment method, Brad. You need to update your payment method. Only legends remember Bun, Bumfoot, Ray Mysterio. Yeah, Bumfoot, Ray Mysterio. Still Bumfoot to this day. You know what? Actually, I still have him over there in the pile. What I need – dude, if I – should I auction off Bumfoot, Ray Mysterio, bro? I don't know if I'm going to do it today, but that would be fantastic. That would be fantastic for the next stream to do Bumfoot, Ray Mysterio. See, this is where I get into an issue because I would like – I would really like to – if I'm going to do that, I would have to, like, announce it, first of all. Auction Trash Corbin. He went to high school? Or he went to your high school? Okay. I can't auction Trash Corbin. Too iconic. Too iconic. Can't do it. But that's another thing. If I ever um, – I think if I was ever doing, like, a channel-specific whatnot stream or a stream where I was selling stuff, I would probably do that. It belongs in a museum. Facts. That is absolute facts. All right. We just sold off. The World Tag Team Championships, man. Again, Crazy Toro's payment has succeeded. Pop goes off. Cigarettes behind the gymnasium, Dean Amber. Dude, the, the stream actually would be loaded. There would be so many iconic figures in there. You'd have naked Seth Rollins, naked uh, Rusev. You would have Santa Strowman. You would have Trash Corbin. You would have that weird Michael Mask looking figure. You would have Little E. You would have uh, who else? Oh, Jesus, almost fell out of my chair. Abe Lincoln, I could dude, if I ever parted, Egghead, Finn Balor, dude, there's so many great classics right there, man. All right, let's move on to the next figure. We're going to be selling the Chase Mr. T right here. And this figure, the only damage that I can see, there is some slight damage right here. There's like a little crinkle right there. Let me see this. It was like this when I found it, unfortunately. There's a bend in the card there, so you guys can see that. There's also a, a little bubble right there. But, I mean, open this thing up, man. I mean, these new basics, they're meant to be open. But I have not seen 
anybody uh, with this figure yet, I don't think. So, I don't know. Your opportunity to own the Mr. T Chase basic figure right here, man. Let's go. We're going to... Where the hell is it? Is it at the top? Oh, there it is. Jesus in heaven, man. Get your, get your shish together, Brad. Here we go. Running Mr. T Chase basic. Yeah, dude, if they if this figure had bicep cut, it would be over. It would be over. When was Mr. T a ref? Way back in the day, Brad. Way back in the day. I do believe this is like a special referee gear, if I'm not mistaken. Could be wrong about that, but any all pink ultimate edition Bret Hart's. I only have one that's mint on card, but it's for my personal collection. I actually use my other to turn it into a ultimate edition sting. So that is why. Do I have bullet club shirts? Not for this stream specifically. Maybe in the future we could do something like that. Buy an autograph. In the Buy It Now, there's patron packages that have an autograph card in there. You can check that out. They're available for 10 bucks. You can grab one of those. It comes with a autographed uh, card like this. And it's got the logo on there. It's got a sticker and a crowd sign. So 39902 wins the Chase Basic Mr. T, man. Let's go. Huge shout out to you, brother. Great stuff. I buy the hell out of some Bullet Club shirts. Good stuff. Heart Foundation members like Owen and Pillman. Uh, none today, I don't think. I might, I might have some for you. Just stay tuned, man. Once we get through some of these items, I might just do some random one-off items that were included in the pre-stream notes and whatnot. So you can uh, check that out. But huge shout-out to 39902 for the W on the Mr. T, man. I appreciate you. But, yeah, if you guys are interested, again, in the Buy It Now, you can buy this card. It's a thank you card. I personally autograph it and sign it. Again, it comes with a crowd sign for your arena, and it comes with a MDT World sticker. And this is just a good way to support the channel. They're 10 bucks. It's just like a nice supporter of the channel deal there. And then um, I think there's also a tip section or something like that that you could also support the channel with. All, always greatly appreciate you guys for all that. But a huge shout-out to 39902 for the Chase figure basic. I do believe he got that for under what it's going for right now. I do believe it's going for double that on the aftermarket right now. So, awesome. And 39902, if you want me to ship that, if you want me to ship that loose, let me know and I will I can uh I can do that. My son Mateo says, "Hey, huge shout out to Mateo for uh and his mom for for joining in the stream, man. Huge shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in, man. What are your thoughts on Hornswoggle? Cool guy, man. Really cool guy. He's actually somebody I want to meet one day. I know he does, like, I think he does videos with his son and stuff. I'd like to meet him. Bro, I love your YouTube channel. Absolute Savage Collection. I appreciate that, brother. Here we go. We are running it back. What do we have here? All right, I think we've, we're done with all the, okay, no, we're not. I was going to say something. We're not done. We are not done here. We are not, we're not done here. I mean, we're done. We're not done with the specific figure that I was referencing. All right, so Swa that's what I thought. So Swaggle is a seller on here. I'll have to join one of his streams one day for sure. But, yeah, I know he makes videos and stuff, too, so I would definitely like to meet him one day. Let's go with, huh, let's see. Let's go, I don't know what that, what that, Blue Blood Helmsley? You know what? Let's run it, man. Let's run Hunter Hearst Helmsley, Toys R Us, Rest in Peace exclusive. We are doing Triple H, Hunter Hearst Helmsley. Now, there's, I'll, I'll point this out before we run this thing because I want you guys to see this. So, right here. On his leg, you guys can see there's some red paint. This is like this figure is minty fresh. This figure is minty fresh. I've never really posed it. All the joints are tight, all that stuff. This is from the factory. I can auction this off, or I can acetone this off. You want me to auction off this paint? I'll auction that shish right off the figure. Uh, I will acetone that off for you. If you want me to fix that, let me know. I will remove that paint so you guys will get it completely without the without that. So you just let me know. I will take that off, but. Uh, Crispy Firecracker, 4th of a uh, Baron Corbin. Yeah, there you go. Rob knows football. Let's go. Here we go. Huge shout out to Baby Doll 682 for that, but we're going to. Why are Basics selling out on ringside? I get Because Basics changed the game, man. They're main events now. Get it right. Yeah, this cane is not the actual cane that came with the figure. I do believe this is from Kurt Hawkins. And I couldn't find it. I did my best. I dove into the into the drawer. I could not find it. I'll look again. I'll look again before the uh, before I ship this item. But Hunter Hearst Helmsley, this is the Toys R Us exclusive network spotlight. This is not the same cane he came with. 
but I will again. I'll I'll try to look for it again. But yeah, this isn't the cane he came with. But there's that. Uh, this is a great figure. Uh, whoever wins it again, I'll ask to tone that paint off there. Four dollars for the paint off the figure. I will wipe. I'll tell you what. We'll do it live. We'll do it live. I will take a Q-tip. I'll acetone off the paint, and the paint will be stuck to the uh, the, the Q-tip. The acetone Q-tip that removed this paint, I'll auction that off. So remember this shell forming in Toys R Us. It shell formed like a mother. Ridiculous. Here we go, man. I did not expect this figure to, to reach this price at the slightest. Did not know that is this figure going for that? I, I don't even I don't even know about that. Is this figure going for that much? Fritz free. Fritz Fry. Lord in heaven. Huge shout out to Fritz Fry. I will I'll do you one. I will first of all, now I'm for sure removing the paint. Um I will, uh, I'll throw something in for free for sure. I'll, I'll throw something in there for you, man. I appreciate that. Thank you for the purchase and the support of the channel with the purchase of the Hunter Hearst Helmsley. We will, um, I can, if you want me to acetone off that paint, I will acetone off the paint and I will also toss in some stuff with that figure, man. I appreciate that. Thank you, brother, for the support there on the Hunter Hearst Helmsley Network Spotlight. And the 64 Kurt Hawkins cane right there, man. Include the Q-tip. It depends. If he wants me to, re if you want me to remove it, tell me. Tell me if you want me to remove that paint before we move forward there. Give this man that ten dollar bundle. Yeah, that's that's actually a true shot. I'll probably I'll, I'll throw a, a Patreon package in there for free. Okay, perfect, perfect. I appreciate the one dollar tip, brother. Thank you, brother, for that. Let's see. Can you sell me an Eric Rowan in the future? Is there a specific figure or two that you regret not getting? I miss Toys R Us show. Honestly, just bring back Toys R Us just in its state that it was with the identical figures. You know what I'm saying? Just do that. Just for, I'll, I don't care what figures on the shelves. They could be 77 elite. Trish Stratus, WrestleMania 40 figures or something, man. I just miss going in the going down the aisle, but let's go. Let's go. What what else we got here? Again, man, check out the buy it now section. Is there any item like what all is sold out of the buy it now? Okay, so there's only one thing left. It is the patron packages. You can buy patron packages, they're available. Autograph cards, crowd arena sign, sticker, all that stuff is up there. But let's get into our next item here. Um, we have another. Let's see. Let's get into. I mean, we're getting close to the to the to the money stuff, man. We're getting stuff close to the money stuff. Let's get into another belt lot here. Let's go with this Attitude Era style belt lot, and this is going to include. Now, bear with me here. We've got the WWF Championship. We got. The Oval Intercontinental Championship, my personal favorite version of the Intercontinental Championship. We have the blocky version, or the rectangle version of the IC Championship. We have, okay, this isn't, I guess technically it's Attitude Era. We have the Big Gold World Championship. We have the European Championship. And lastly, we have the Women's Championship. So you get all of these belts, man. Every single one of these belts is going to be available right now in this auction. Do I need to buy to enter the giveaway? No, you do not. No, you do not have to. But you get all these belts right here in this in this lot that we're giving away right here. Not giving away. We're selling it. We are selling it. I do plan on, in the next stream for whatnot, for the WrestleMania weekend, I do plan on doing more than one giveaway. There's going to be more than one giveaway. So stay tuned for that, man. Here we go. Let's get into this and let's sell off this belt lot. It is, we have one more belt lot actually after this one, but here we go. I'm going to put this on. Appreciate everybody for tuning in tonight, man. You guys are absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. Here we go. All these belts, man. Huge shout out to Breezy Bella, my son, and huge fans of your YouTube. Love it. We binge watch. I appreciate y'all, man. Thank you so much. Huge shout out to your sons. We have all these belts here, man. 
you're getting the World Heavyweight Championship, the Block Intercontinental Championship, the European, the IC, the WWF, and the Women's Championship. All of these in one lot, man. Looking for a sneak tease of the legendary MDT knife. Well, it just depends on which. Uh, if you're referring to the original one, then that's one thing. But I do, I do have the new one, the symbiote, the one that the symbiote took over. Do you own a ringside exclusive 2003 Jericho? I do, actually. $50, man. That's that's good stuff right there. That is a good, that is a really good price for all these belts, man. A really good price. 54 Wow. Chris Picasso. That is a steal. What a steal, man. $54. That is a steal, man. I don't know what all these belts go for, but, I mean, how many belts you got? You got one, two... Three, four, five, six, man. You got all of these for ten dollars or less per championship. I'd say that is an absolute W, man. Wow, that is good stuff. Great stuff right there. Yeah, all of that is so super special, awesome. Great stuff right there, man. Excellent W for Chris Picasso on the belts. You think Sting will sign a legend? Okay, I need to make a whole video on that, man. I need to make a whole video on that because Sting, I hope to God that he doesn't pull a salmon jack. Now, don't get me wrong. Sting's one of my favorites of all time. I love Sting. So if he pulls a salmon jacket like Mark Henry and he says, you know, he swerves us and he comes back and wrestles, it's a low key, it'd be bittersweet because I want him to sign a Legends deal with Mattel so that we can get some epic Ultimates Legends figure. They're going to roll Sting out like it's going out of style, man. If he signs a Legends deal with WWE, it's over. There's, he's going to be getting so many figures, man. It's going to be unbelievable. But yeah, huge shout out to Chris, man. That was excellent. Is there an era in WWF slash WWE you wish you got to see? I've been a wrestling fan since 1985. Yes, I wish that I would have. So I was, I was, I started, I was a fan like, I started watching as a young child at, like, three and four years old. So, I didn't miss the complete 90s, but I did miss a chunk of the 90s that I wish that I could have seen from the start. But to be honest with you, I wish that I could have seen all of it, you know, in real time without being super old. No offense. You know what I mean? Like, 1985, you're still young. But, you know what I mean? I wish I could have seen the the dawn of it to the current day without, you know, having to pay the, the terrible, uh, you know, terrible things about the uh of the aging process but you know we all get older man it's just what it is waiting for the mdt belts in the future stream i bought the gcw belt for 150 bucks wow that's crazy that's insane what made you start your channel seeing other people man seeing other people other people do this or um just seeing some other channels out there let's see dude hold up i gotta bend my knee before i pass away here on the stream live oh my lord all right Let's get into, I mean, we don't really have, we have one, two, three, four, five, six figures and four belts left. So I guess let's do a figure. And then I think, I think our little thing we did right there kind of worked out. Let's move on, man. We have another Stone Cold Steve Austin. We're doing the SOB vest with, get this, I don't think I've shown this off yet, on the back, 100%. Wolf ass. 100% wolf ass vest. Stone Cold Steve Austin right here, man. Custom painted. You got the custom skull in there. This is, again, this is not, you're not going to get this from Mattel. Mattel is not going to make this, man. You're not going to see Mattel make something that has ass on it. It's just not the way it is. So, 100% wolf ass. We got Stone Cold Steve Austin Elite. This is the Royal Rumble Elite. I wish I had a shish ton of the WrestleMania Elite, and I've described that in the past, man. They had them up for $5 on effing ringside collectibles two years ago on their Christmas sale. And I did not pull the trigger. And now I want to 100% whoop my own ass for not picking up 27 of them. So that is just what we have right there, man. Uh, let's run it up. Here we go. 100% whoop ass. Stone Cold Steve Austin. We do not. I do not have any Von Erichs, unfortunately, you know. Unfortunately, don't have any Von Erics, but yeah, we do have uh, we have some other pieces in the collection. Again, man, there's so many figures I'm missing that I really wish that I did have in the collection to show off, but just don't, man. Let's see. I guess I, you know what? 
I'm going to uh, take a sip of the Diet Doozy as the Stone Cold Steve Austin rotates gracefully. Did you have the Wolfpack Sting before the recent unboxing? I did not. I did not. He shout out to my man, Anthony. Did not have that figure. So that's that was a genuine reaction right there that we got. Slander with another Austin purchase. I can't remember if he bought the other one, so I do apologize for that. I want to say he did buy the other one, though. I want to say he did buy the other one, but that's great, man. You get a great... I remember, dude, back in the day, like 2015, 2016, you could buy custom elites for 35 bucks, 40 bucks. There used to be... I don't know if you guys know Brock Lock. Brock Lock Customs, man. I bought a Bobby Lashley custom off him for $32 on eBay way back in the day. Should have absolutely been $79 at least. It was unreal. I, uh, that was just unreal. You never see that again. That's just not okay. So Paul Ohio bought the other one. Excellent stuff, man. I'm gonna have a look over these customs tonight and make sure that they're all there's no like weird stuff going on with them. Like if there's a little, you know, like a nick in the paint or something, I'm gonna touch it up and whatnot so you guys can you know make sure that you're getting you know a pristine item there. They, I mean, they look good at the naked eye, but I want to make sure they're good there. Uh, you ever see those NWA customs for like 150 now on Mercari? I feel like I'm the only one seeing those. I think I do know what you're talking about, actually. I think I do remember what you were talking about there. Let's uh, – uh, okay, so we do have a – we have another 1984 Hogan belt. Let's go ahead and run that one real quick, man. Let's go ahead and run this one. It's going to be another 84 Hogan belt because we did have two of those. I want to make sure – that you know we get that in here i do believe that yeah there's it is there it is all right here we go so we have another 1984 hogan belt man so if you guys missed out on the last one or you guys want this one this girl on instagram does amazing AEW customs i know who you're talking about i actually i, I me and her talk often on uh on custom stuff and she may or may not have been making me some stuff behind the scenes man there's some epic things behind the scenes so only 154 people in here yeah this these are all made by turnquist all of these, but you're talking about, uh, is it Cinemarian or Cimmerian dolls? Very talented, very crazy customs being made on there. Got the Hogan belt coming right here, man. Yeah, all these are made by Turnquist. Spitting Riz. Now, the only Riz I'm spitting is to my wife, Brad. Um, but we do have some, some customs behind the scenes work in there. But yeah, there's some unbelievable work all around, man. Ryan Angle, relation to Kurt Angle, hopefully. Hopefully that's the case there. But 1984, Hulk Hogan belt going to Ryan Angle, man. Huge shout out to you, brother. A W for Ryan on the stream there. Let's see. PWR Lucha does make some fantastic stuff as well. Did you see the new punk that BEW made? If he, It depends on when he posted it because I'm friends with BEW and I... I feel like he's taking, I think he's taking a hiatus right now or a break right now, unless he posted something today and I missed it. I've been kind of running rampant all day, but let's see. All right, man, the next, okay. One of these figures that we haven't announced yet, or not only that we haven't announced yet, but we have some figures here that I'm super excited for. Um, let's run this Hogan first, and then we'll get into the, the other figures here. We're going to run this Ultimate Edition Hogan. All right, but it does come with this alternate version of the 1984 championship, and it is made by Dan Turnquist. So you're getting the belt and the Ultimate Edition Hogan that is in there right there. So we are getting this right here. Yeah, this this figure's ultimate is insane, man. At WrestleMania Axis, you got to ask about the reason they skipped on Maskless Ray. Absolute, absolutely, we'll be doing that. <laughs> Love the turn in your theme between bids. Yes. <laughs> uh, somebody caught it. That's good stuff. I always love dropping the references and then somebody picking up on them. That's the best thing about it. All right. Here we go. Ultimate Edition Hogan with the 1984 Championship. Man, here we go. It's a great championship. It's a great figure. You could literally take this. That Hogan will drop, drop you in your sleep. He will, man. He is very poseable. Maybe not as good as Hulk Hogan, or Hulk Hogan. Not as good as Ultimate Edition 15 Brock Lesnar, but damn. Uh, ask them why there's two different Gorgano formulas with his newest figure. Well, I've talked about that. He's not Jimmy King. Hell no. Nobody's Jimmy King, Brad. Still working on making a custom for him. 
I don't know why, for some reason, this Hogan is looking built. Uh, it's probably just the angle, you know. He's just, I guess you could say he's built a little differently, you know. I don't know. Looking good, though. I like this figure. And you know what? If this, uh, I'll throw in a shirt with this one. I'll throw in a shirt. I'll throw, <laughs> I'll throw in a, let's see. I'll throw in one of the Hulk Hogan shirts I have over here. Built like Brad. Ryan Angle with another W, man. So he's getting the Hulk Hogan. With the 1984 belt, and he just got the other version of the belt. So, hell yeah. So, it's basically like you're getting two belts with the Hulk Hogan figure, man. That's good stuff. Really good stuff. Do you think they're going to show off Elite 110 at Mania Access? Huh. Let's see. I'm trying to think. Back last year at WrestleMania Access, they showed off Elite 102 and Elite 103. So, Elite 108 already shown. So, I would imagine yes, but I don't know. I don't know for sure, man. That'll be a thing, man. Is anybody here going to WrestleMania? If anybody in here is going to WrestleMania, huge shout out to Ryan, by the way, for the W right there. Good back-to-back -back championship Ws for Ryan right there. All right. Good things coming right there. I'm about to head re to Revolution. I would love to. I hope Sandman is in Elite 110. He's actually in Elite 111. I am reserved for both nights. I am I'm going. I am going up there. Am I going... Am I going to actually Am I actually going to WrestleMania the show? I don't know. I don't know if I'm actually going to to the show, but I'm going to be in Philadelphia to go to the Superstore. That's that's absolutely happening. Yeah, I'm also excited for Elite 110 Roman Reigns. Yeah, I've talked to them for a long time about that actually, the the new Cena shoe mold and stuff like that. Got to witness the finished story in person, Brett. You're not wrong. You're not wrong about that, man. You're not wrong about that. All right. Let's go to the next item. And we're going to run an, our next belt lot, actually. Let's run our next belt lot right here. We have belt lot number three. And this is a pretty good one, I think. A pretty good belt lot. So in this belt lot, you're getting the white IC championship. You're getting the... Andre the Giant version of the, the world title. You're getting a set of WWF World Tag Team Championships. And you're also getting a million dollar championship. And you're getting an 84 Hogan championship. So there you go. That is your full lot of belts right there that you can purchase. There we go. Start auction. And we are rolling with this lot of belts, man. And again, whoever whoever got the acolytes, you you are included your your set of tag team championships. Hoping some ECW happens, stuff happens because it's in Philly. I would, dude, if they were, oh god, yeah, these are all Mattel. None of these are custom. These are all Mattel. Every single one of these are Mattel. So every single belt that you're seeing here is Mattel, unless otherwise stated by me. Yeah, huge shout out to everybody. I don't really think the field of people, the field of people has been going strong, man. I appreciate everybody stopping by and wanting to purchase stuff, man. I don't know how many different people have come by, but I appreciate everybody, man. WCF Wrestling Custom Figs got the lot. Good Lord, 215. There's no, there's no way. There's no way that's, it's got to be some sort of, are there any custom belts left for bid? Um, yes. Yes, there are. There are, actually. Yeah, I don't think that is, uh, I don't think that's real. I don't think, I don't think this is going to be a, a real thing there. The payment method failed, so I don't know if it's just somebody trolling or whatnot, but we don't, please do not spam the auction and take this away from people actually trying to purchase, man. That's, that's pretty messed up, so definitely don't do that. Um, we've had a few failed auctions tonight. <laughs> uh, all right, we'll have to come back to that one or something like that. I don't. I, again, I don't know how these things work when the payment fails and everything like that. I don't know if you can like redo. It. I don't know how all that works. I'd have to look at that. Roll type ride beating TC by four right now. Hell yeah, hell yeah, yeah. Please keep me updated on the game. I was actually upset that this fell in line with that. Mm -hmm. I should have been playing it in the background, or I should play it on my phone actually. Be like reacting to everything. 
you might have to run it again. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to run it again. I don't know how that works again, like I said, but we're about to uh, we're about to get into our. Uh, this is honestly, this may be one of my favorite things that's going up today, man. This is one of my favorite things that's going up today. If you're a Stone Cold Steve Austin fan, this figure right here is unreal. All right, so this is. This is the original WWF championship with the blue strap, with the block WWF logo. This is accurate. This is the accurate look of Austin when this was revealed, man. So this is how he looked. I know that um, Mattel released it with a scratch logo and um, different stuff like this, but this has the accurate championship. This is a custom-made championship by Dan Turnquist. I didn't think you could be in here and not have money on account. That's generic. I don't know. I don't know how that works again. But, yeah, we even you know, look at this. This looks beautiful. Do you know why they changed it? I, I want to say I remember, but then I've forgotten now. I think I learned that, and then whatever. Here we go. Really, simple is the straps getting too dirty. Is he custom? The belt is custom. This figure is actually the Attitude Era Elite Austin. And this actually upsets me that I'm selling this right now because it's so beautiful. This is like a moment in time. This is good stuff. Here we go. We're going to run this Austin. This Again, this is one of my favorite items that we have in the entire thing here tonight. So. I think this Attitude of Era Elite is kind of hard to come by, too. Like, a lot of people want this shirt. So you get the shirt, you get the figure, and you get this amazing belt. This WWF Block Logo Championship with the blue strap. So that's the whole thing right there, man. Epic, epic piece right here. I'm really sickened that I'm selling this right now. So you're hurting my feelings, but at least I hope it's appreciated from somebody. I'm still hoping for the Rocky might be at the end. Don't forget me. All right, brother. Stay tuned. Stay tuned for what, what we may have here. This piece is insane. Hopefully, Mattel releases a better face scan. Elite LA Knight. We'll just take the basic, man. Get the basic, throw that onto the Elite. There you go. What have you. Awesome. Triple H D. Wins the auction 59. Dude, that's it. That, I feel like that's a steal. I feel like that's a steal right there. This belt is insane. This is an insane belt. Where can we get those custom belts from? So this is Dan Turnquist. He makes these. And I think he has an Instagram page. It's Turnquist underscore God, fig underscore belts, I think. And so, but he's he's kind of been active on Instagram sometimes. He's not on there all the time. But we're, we're kind of working on some things behind the scenes that I think we're going to, you know, that may come to fruition here, maybe on another platform or, or YouTube and whatnot. So we're going to we'll have to see what comes of it. But I think we're going to do a whatnot stream together at some point with uh, some custom championships. But awesome Triple HD with the win on the def on the defining moments on this Attitude Era Elite Stone Cold Steve Austin figure. Great figure, man. That Oh, man. This just looks beautiful with that title. I love this figure. There it is. Mo the Fig God's got it right there. Dan Turnquist. Absolute money. All right. Here we go, man. We are moving on to, I think, a figure belt that is going to look fantastic with this. So here we go. We're going to be giving, uh, not giving away. I need to stop saying that. We are doing a giveaway at the end. Stay tuned. But we are selling this custom WWF Scratch Logo Championship. Look at this, man. WWF Championship, man. This is absolutely beautiful if my stream's lag yeah i apologize but this is so beautiful here we go we're gonna run this it's got the scratch logo it's got it's 3d printed very good very good stuff going on here any sting i don't know we'll have to see we will have to see man here we go wwf scratch logo I think I think it's safe. I think this is my favorite belt of all time. I'm not entirely sure. Also, theory, no, this is a retro theme stream, a retro themed stream um, for tonight. It's part of the retro weekend here on whatnot. However, I do plan on doing um, some more modern stuff in the in the future for sure. But this is a beautiful piece, man. This is going to look so good on your your Austin figures, your Triple H's, your Brock's. Hell, you could put this on a damn Kurt Angle. There's so many figures you could put this on, but 
I just think this fig this belt to me looks so incomplete without the the F scratch logo, in my opinion. Give it to Kane. Yeah, you could give it to Kane. Could give it to Kane there. But I think didn't he have the block blue version or something? I could be wrong about that. I don't know. Did the British Bulldog sell? It did. It did sell. I'm sick on Retro Weekend. Hate to see it. The belt is Chef's Kiss. It is. It is there. Favorite Kate figure? Taker fan for life. Taker fan for life wins the WWF championship. Dude, this figure belt is insane. It's a beautiful piece. I don't know how many times I say that. Will you do any Hardys? I wanted to. Bulldog still says pending. Interesting. Um, I guess if anybody whose payments failed, if your payment failed and you're still here, man, you need to get that fixed. But I guess I'll probably run it back. I guess I can run it back, man. We'll have to see about that. But let's uh, – we the ones, one, and WCF Wrestling Custom Figs, if they didn't uh, – if they don't end up purchasing it, then we will run it back. We'll have to run that back there because I'm trying to get rid of this shish. Is this your first stream? It is. It is. It is my first stream. All right, now we are entering into, we only have a few figures here, man. We have three. We have our mystery items, which we're going to cover, and then we have one belt and three. Should we do the Hogan's back to back to back, or should we do the Smoking Skull first? Let's do the, should we do the last belt and then get into the Hogan's, or should we, you guys let me know. You want to get into the Hogan's first. All righty, man. Skull later, so less people, so I can buy. <laughs> Smoking Hogan's, got it. All right, here we go. Here we go. The first Hogan we got, man. The first Hogan we made. Again, these are the figures that we made on our video. Again, these were made in our MDT video. If you guys missed the video, definitely go check it out. We custom built these Hogan's on camera, on the channel, for your viewing pleasure, on the YouTube channel. So, if you guys. If you guys missed that video, definitely go check that out after this or what have you. But we have the American-made Hulk Hogan first. And tell me if I'm wrong. Are the trunks not slightly uh, slightly darker than the boots, or am I tripping? I could, like, am I wrong? They are. I'm telling you. Okay, that's what I thought. It's, like, very, very faint. Okay. That makes it, to me, that makes it more, a little bit more accurate. Because if they're the same color, it wouldn't be completely accurate. But for me, this could work for an American-made, American-made Hogan, in my opinion. So, we have the Carolina Blue American-made Hogan right here. Made this in our videos, the first of three Hogans. I'm going to run this one. I guess we'll do the Smoking Skull Belt before we do the Mystery Figs. But here we go, man. We are doing the American-made Custom Hogan that was made in the WWE Figure Upgrade video. Here we go, man. American made Hogan. It's a great figure, man. It's a great figure, and it's much better than the Mattel version. If you got this, and then you, I mean, I know we have the Ultimate that's kind of an American made, but those boots aren't accurate, I don't think. So if you got the, if you got the American made, um, if you got the American made shirt, or you got an American made shirt, and then put it on here, it would really complete it, I think. But I just think the headband with the necklace and the trunks, this is super money, in my opinion, for an American made Hogan. But, you know, I'm not. Mattel needs to make Thunder Lips Hogan. I think we will. We do have, this is another thing. We have two other legend Hogans that have not even been revealed yet that are coming this year. So there's a whole thing there. Yeah, they, they just, they didn't release this figure specifically. They released a version of this. Fritz Fry or Fritz Free with the purchase there, man. Huge shout out to you, brother. So he has the American Made Hogan. That is his second purchase of the night for Fritz. So excited for Ichiban Hogan. Yeah, they have an Ichiban Hogan. We have uh, we have the that, that's two versions right there. So we have the Ichiban Hogan, the regular version, and the Chase. And then there's two more Legends Elite Hogans coming this year that we don't even know about. So that's a whole entire thing there, man. But at this time, I want to give a huge shout out to everybody that has tuned in so far, man. I appreciate every single one of you guys for coming by the stream. And for just supporting the channel, wanting to be on here, man. You guys are absolutely incredible. I appreciate you. Even if you don't even watch the channel, maybe you just stumbled upon the stream randomly because you watch whatnot and you wanted to buy some figures, man. I appreciate you guys, man. You guys are awesome. So there's American Made Hogan. Now, should we just do them in order? I think uh, I think this is good, man. I appreciate all you guys, man. 
Let's go to our next Hogan. This one is the one that I am most excited for, man. This is the this is what kind of inspired that entire video. And it kind of makes me sick because this is like one of my favorite looks of Hogan of all time. It is going to be this right here, man. Look at how beautiful this figure is. I am so excited for this figure. Very excited for this figure, man. We have this Hollywood Hulk Hogan, and we are running it so clean, man. The white gloves. I can't believe Mattel hasn't given us the white gloves just yet, but this tan with these boots and the everything going on, this is absolute money. I love everything about this figure from head to toe. Again, it makes me sick. It makes me sick that I'm selling this right now, but it is for the people, man. All for the people. You guys have an opportunity to own this. Now, again, I do hate that the pegs are black instead of white. I do wish. But I am going to include some Eddie Guerrero Ultimate Edition hands. So you can put these in here if you want to. And kind of, you know, you'll have the white pegs at least if you want to switch them out. But I don't know. I like the glove mold. I like that you can see the sculpting on the hands. That's what kind of turned me off there. And then you do have, this is the accurate skin tone. This skin tone on these Eddie Guerrero hands aren't completely accurate, but I think they may work under the right lighting. So, you know, you'll have to, you know, just do what you will, do with what you will there and uh, play around with that. But yeah, custom Hogan, man. Brandon JK1 has won the Hollywood Hulk Hogan, man. Now, this is great because this figure, um, this, ha this is the, Hogan 3-pack, Hollywood Hulk Hogan. It's got WrestleMania Elite boots. It's got the ringside exclusive legs. It's got a custom crotch painted. And then it's got all the sh bells and whistles on here. This is beautiful, man. Congrats to Brandon. This is a fantastic piece. Uh, I, I hope that you will pose this thing proudly, man, because it's a great figure. I love this. Love this, Hogan. It just reminded me that What's-His-Face's payment failed. I don't know what's going on there, but... Yeah, this is a one of one. It's a one of one figure. You're not going to see this. I'm going to find that anywhere else, man. But that Hogan is gone. And we are moving on to our last Hogan before we get into our last belt here, man. And that is going to be what did you custom on that Hogan? So I changed the boots. I made a whole video on it. I, I, I uh, custom painted the crotch, leg swapped it, boot swapped it, painted the hands, added some accessories, did some cool stuff there. But now. We are getting into the last, I guess, besides our mystery items, we do have some mystery items here, but we're getting into our last Hogan of the night, and that is going to be the Custom Elite SummerSlam 2005. So technically, technically this isn't all the way 80s or 90s, but this is still a custom figure, and it is this version right here. So this is a fixed up version of the Elite Hogan using some different parts. So before we start the auction, you have the Hulkamania shirt on here is different. You have different glasses, I do believe. These are Fan Takeover Ultimate Edition Hulk Hogan armbands. You have the knee brace and the boots from the Elite 91. So it is a kit bash custom fix up here of this figure. And it's it's great piece. It's a great piece. Still waiting on them to fix his. This is from his Undisputed Title run. No, this is later than that, actually. I'm pretty sure this is from SummerSlam 05, if I'm not mistaken. So, it's almost completely accurate to the 05 SummerSlam Hogan. He didn't wear the armbands, but otherwise it's perfect. Is that correct? Okay, so, but actually you could remove the wristbands and he's got white wrist tape underneath. So, that is something you could do as well. You could put these wristbands on something else if you wanted to do that. But I think the yellow kind of pops it. I know he cut some promos wearing this exact gear. So, that's something you could do as well. But I like this Hogan. I like this Hogan a lot. So, it's kind of a kit mash of a bunch of different Hogans there. But I enjoy this figure, man. Legendary selling by HBK, absolutely, one thousand percent. Most underrated figure. I don't know about underrated, but that's difficult. That's difficult to decide there. I wish they made this in reverse colors, mostly red with yellow. All the tights. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Michael John thirty forty six with a win. Great stuff right there, man. I think that dude, that's a that's a good I think that's a great price you just secured that for. 41 bucks is a great secured price, I think. Yeah, I think it's a steal too. I think it's a steal too because I mean if you bought I think if you bought all the pieces to make this, it's easily it's way I mean you got about the three pack, right? You got about the three pack, 
the three pack's sixty five dollars, depending on depending on where you get it. And then you have um, you know the boots and the knee brace come from a, an elite. The armbands come from another elite. The shirt comes from another. So yeah, you definitely that's a steal. Forty one bucks. Huge shout out to Michael right there for the win there, man. Good stuff. And all these dude, these figures are so crispy, such crispy. They just look good, man. Alrighty, now we're getting it. Before we get into our mystery, he's also going to come with the boa, by the way. He's also coming with the boa. I know that would have tripled the price, but yeah, he is coming with the boa. We are going to run the giveaway at the end there, man. But here we have, before we get into our mystery items, we do have our last championship. It is going to be the Smoking Skull Championship. And this is, again, made by Dan Turnquist. We're running it right now. Smoking Skull Custom Championship, WWF Scratch logo in there, man. Just a, just a, oh man, this, this belt is just insane. So insane. Looks so good. Uh, the dimensions are perfect. It's just, uh, I can't even say enough adjectives to bring it to, to life here. This, I'm pretty sure the Mattel version of this, the Mattel version of this goes for 50 bucks or something like that. I'm pretty sure. So, I do people, people love the belts, man. I love the belts too especially when they're rarer, you know, a lot of people, you don't, you never know when they're going to release them again too. Like when's the next time we're going to get a smoking skull. You would think that they would give us an awesome with a smoking skull in the ultimate edition or something like that. I don't know. On eBay it goes for 50 to 70. Yeah. I, it's unreal, man. Unreal. I love the internet championship. Yeah, it is cool too. Maybe in the championship line. Yes, absolutely. Didn't they? Did they not just show that, or did they give the WWE oh, Jeremiah with another W? Did they not just show that? I could be wrong, but huge shout out to Jeremiah for another belt, man. Let's see. I want to say that they did. Am I wrong? I want to say they gave him the WWF Championship, maybe. But was he not in the line just the other day? I saw it. it was like they they showed John Cena. They showed The Rock. I think they showed Roman Reigns. Um, this one specifically, I don't think has the, the pattern on the inside. I don't think, um, it's kind of wrapped up right now. It's in like the packaging. I don't think it has the pattern on the back, but he could, I'm pretty sure he could do it. I'm pretty sure he could do that. If, uh, in the future, I'm going to definitely work on that. All right. Ultimate Kane from Raw ring set. Yeah. So we're going to run the giveaway for this. We're going to run our giveaway for this it's sealed. Now we're going to do this at the end. This is not, we're going to do the mystery items first, then get into, then get into the giveaway. But again, we are giving away. All you have to do is be, be able to join in, man. You got to be following me though. You got to be following me on whatnot. And then you can uh, join in there, but uh, it's not going to be me. It's going to be a random drawing. I don't even know how they work. It just, I think I click a button and it pulls up the winner, but it it's mid on card. It's completely in my, rerunning that last belt light if i yeah i i could do that let's uh yeah let's look at that real quick before we get into the mystery items because i want to let's see here we go uh sold i don't even know can you even do that i don't even know if you can do that can you do that let's see official uh, details let's see or do I just have to like quick add or whatever? Do you like quick add and do it again? Is that how you do that? Let's see. Then you have to cancel the other word then and put it in as a new one. You need to wait. You got to add it again. You got to relist it and cancel the sale. Well, it won't let me cancel from here, unfortunately. So I don't really know what to do about that. Yeah, it just says view details, and it doesn't really give me an, uh, a way to do so. So I guess we'll have to – we'll just have to wait on that, I guess. Let's let's get into mystery item number one, man. Let's get into mystery item number one for this stream. Does anybody have any guesses? Any guesses? Running as a new lot. I think you have to wait. Well, like, you shouldn't bid on something in a whatnot. I already did all those things. But you shouldn't have to, uh, like, you should have a payment method there that works. And if that's not the case, then you you shouldn't be able to purchase something, I think. You know what I mean? I, I think you kind of, 
they don't have funds. But yeah, I think, you know, if you're kind of, I don't even, I can't think of the word that I'm looking for, but if you're going to hijack a sale, I don't know. It just seems like it's kind of a hijacking. It kind of seems like the hijack. Yeah. It's kind of trolls or hijack. Once you hijack a sale, I think I don't really care if you have the money. You know what I mean? I, it's not a legitimate sale. Therefore, you know what I mean? So that's, that's what I'm thinking there. Um, so let's, uh, exactly. Precisely. Precisely. Let's, uh, I might do it at the end if we see what we have. Oh, mystery item number one. Mystery item number one is the ultimate edition angle with championships. You're going to get the Intercontinental Championship. You're going to get the European Championship. And you're going to get the WWF title. Might need to change it to verified buyers only. I didn't know if that would eliminate a big, uh, a big massive portion of the buyers. So maybe that's something I can look into in the future. Does that mean that you you have? I don't know. Like, because then first time people joining on kind of would be eliminated. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to do that. So, um, yeah. So I don't want to do that. Uh, that was my thinking behind that. But yeah, here we go, man. This is mystery item number one. You got this ultimate edition Kurt Angle. Um. I will look for the extra head sculpts. I think it's only it's only going to come with Mike holding hands. I do believe. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, you know what? I'll include all the accessories. I'll include all the accessories, and we'll leave. We'll leave. You get the full Ultimate Edition Kurt Angle experience, crying head sculpt, all that different shish. But you also get all these belts. So you get the Euro Continental Championships, and you get the WWF title. Here we go. Mystery item number freaking one. Here we go. Get in there. Yeah, man, I I really I really do love this figure. I I, I hope that we get another Ultimate Edition card angle soon. And I'm hoping that we get, you know, uh, I really want like a training pants angle. I want an angle Ultimate Edition from 05 as well. I would really like to see a bald angle, obviously. That goes without saying. But I want training pants and gray t-shirt Kurt Angle. That's what I would like to see. So hopefully that'll be the hopefully that'll be the thing there. But uh, let's see. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, I don't. I don't like that. Uh, did they make? Uh, so I'm going to be. I haven't even seen this angle for sale anywhere. I mean, it's just the Ultimate Edition Kurt Angle with championships. You get. You get some good championships in here with this card angle. Enforcer five six three wins the card angle ultimate with the belts. So I I feel like that's a steal. You got a steal. I mean, this figure goes with what? This figure goes for thirty five forty, and then you get three belts for ten ten eleven bucks something like that. Uh, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff right there. You shout out to Enforcer five six three for the purchase. Yeah, ridiculous. So I agree. I think that is a win. Absolute win there. So Kurt Angle, mystery item number one with all the bells and whistles. All right, now we're getting into figure or mystery item number two. Any guesses? Any guesses what we got right here? What time is the stream going to be over? I would have guessed probably in the next 15 minutes, maybe. Next 15, 20 minutes would probably be over. All righty, all righty. Oh, good lord. I gotta tell all right. I'm gonna use this time to take a sip of the diet doozy. Throat's getting a little dry, been going consistent here. All righty, all righty, here we go. All right. At the end, I might take some requests and we may be able to move some stuff here. Um, we'll see. Here we go. The next item is going to be a custom fix up elite. Sting. This is the defining moment Sting with the Hall of Fame Elite Sting gloves and the Hall of Fame Sting Elite head sculpt. Okay. So this is a fix up. We made this on surgery, I think. So this has been created in an MDT video or a My Damn Toys surgery video. And also, if the if the auction goes above 50 if it ends up getting to 50 i'm going to throw in a big gold so if it gets up to 50 we'll throw in a big gold championship right there um i don't know what the defining moments elite goes for 
but the figures that you have to create or the figures you have to buy to make this figure are pretty pretty up there. Does he come with a bat? You know what? I'll throw in a bat. I'll throw in a bat. If it if it reaches you know what? I don't care. I'll throw in the bat. We'll throw in the bat. Here we go. Here we go. Good stuff. Mystery item number two is going to be Sting. And this breaks my heart, man. This breaks my heart. Y'all better y'all better appreciate this right here, man, because I love Sting and I am selling this figure from my collection. So this hurts my feelings. All right, here we go. Starting the auction, going for the Sting figure, man. And the World Heavyweight Big Gold is included now. Look at that. Just like that, he is up there. We have Fix Up Elite Defining Moments. Good stuff, man. He's going to come with a bat, and he's going to come with a big gold World Heavyweight Championship. Are Brock figures hard to find now? I don't think so. I don't imagine so. There's like 76 on my shelves at Walmart. Steal at this price? Yes, absolutely. Right now, this price, this is a steal. Because the Defining Moment Sting figure goes for a heat right now, especially with surrounding his retirement and whatnot. So this is why it's painful, painful for me right now to sell this. So, uh, yeah, man. $71 is a steal right now. 71 right now is a steal that somebody could be walking away with. Oh, it did jump, Brad. Oh, oh. All right, now what's even crazy is the guy that won this. The guy that won this figure. Hold up. I got to grab it. I got to grab it. So, the guy that won this is the guy that sent me the Wolfpack Sting, man. So now it's almost like I did a trade, kind of, if you think about it. Not really. But I, I'm swapping. I'm swapping the figures. Is That's what's awesome, man. So that's that's cool. So you get a Sting from my collection, and then you send me the Wolfpack Sting, man. That's awesome. I appreciate that so much, bro. That is awesome. So you get the Sting with the bat and the big gold championship. I'm not selling the Wolfpack Sting. I did ju we did just move this, man. You shout out to my boy there. Great price, great figure, excellent piece. I'm glad that it's going to you, bro. I'm glad that it is going to you. So that is good stuff. Let's. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make him grab that belt there. And I'm most definitely not selling the Wolfpack Sting because that was a gift. And I think selling gifts for profit gain is not right. That's not good stuff. That's We don't like that. All right. Now we're moving on to... Mystery item number three. Mystery item. If you want to throw in a trench coat, I won't be upset. Is it... You mean like the cloth items one? I don't know if I have one. I will definitely check, though. I will definitely check and see. I will see what we got there. But yeah, that's a great figure. All right. The next figure or item that we have here for... You know what? I'm going to get rid of the... I'm going to get rid of this. The... uh Rotating base. I'm going to get rid of this because we got to bring something in here. Getting rid of the rotating base here. Rip up the tape. Um, here we go. Mystery item number three. Business picks up. Here we go. God, I feel like it's quiet now because that was a, a like a humming. All right, man. Here we go. The How much for the rotating base? $6,000. All right. Next mystery item is going to be... One of 5,000, Chase, men on card, in Defender, A.W. Sting. Here we go. So, you will notice, I do want to make this known, the sticker is slightly array, okay? It's, it's kind of, it's kind of slightly tilted, but. I think it's. I, th I think this is a good mystery item, man. It's all. So I am selling some Sting stuff because first of all, I love Sting, but second of all, it's you know it's his retirement weekend. So I figured I did. Okay, this is another thing. This is another piece of little little uh you know little spritzel of info right here. Okay, this Sting not only is a Chase AEW figure, this Sting is the first AEW Chase figure that I ever found in person on a toy hunt that was also posted to the channel. 
So this is a sentimental sting because I found this. This yeah, I found this in part. This is the first chase figure I ever found in person, man. So this would uh this would be a cool piece to own. I think this is a cool, good piece. Not only is it the chase sting, I don't even know what it goes for right now, but I found this in person. And it's the first ever that I found. So here we go, man. We're going to run this as mystery item number three here. Mystery item number four, you're not even ready for. Okay. You're not even ready for mystery item number four. Um, here we go. 60 seconds on the clock. Unmatched. Series two. One of 5,000. Sting. That I found in the that I found in the wild. Here we go, man. You got this from GameStop? I did. Did I get this from? No, this is the one I found in person. I ordered. I ordered a couple chase things from uh, from GameStop, but this one is the one I found in person because I remember it because it has it has the slightly askew chase sticker. Yeah, I found this at uh, I found this at Target. It has the you know the sticker is slightly slanted. That's how I that's how I remember it. And I want to say, I can't remember. What the hell did I do with the other one? I don't even remember what I did with those other ones. I don't think I sold them, though, because I like Sting a lot. I want to say I opened one. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, 84 bucks is a steal right now for this Sting. That'd be a, dude, that would be a steal. I don't even know what it goes for online right now. But Boodle, Big Papa Parto right there. Dude, what a – dude, that's – Lucha Figs. That's a – dude, what a – that is a win, dude. That is a win. I thought it was going for over 100, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong on that. Think about 90. Okay, well, you got slight, maybe slightly under retail price, maybe. I remember when GameStop was shipping the chases for retail? about seven. Yeah. Might be now with him retiring. That is true. That is true. You need to go to Riot Zoo's Insta. He's selling a hair down and up Roman head. I think I saw that, but... I want to say he didn't have the tapered beard, man. It's not really about the hair. It's about the damn beard, man. It's the, it's the, it's got to have the faded haircut. The only Roman head sculpt that I've seen that's really 100% accurate is the one that BEW made me. Hopefully, Mattel will get it right. But um, I tried to order some stuff from him before. And um, yeah, absolutely. We did get cheated not getting a Sting versus Undertaker match. But I want to say I tried to order some stuff from him before. And I don't think I ever got it, and I ended up having to get refunded. Not that he doesn't make good work, because I believe he does make good work, but I don't think um, I ever got my order from him when we did business. But I did get a refund, so it's not that big of a deal. But uh, I did try to get an order from him. But mystery uh, – so if anybody was wondering what mystery item number one and two was, it was uh, – mystery item number one was a Kurt Angle Ultimate with a bunch of championships. Mystery item number two was a, a fix-up Sting Elite custom defining moments figure. And mystery item number three was this 1 of 5,000 uh, Chase AEW and Match Series 2 figure. And we're going to leave him on screen right here, man. We're going to leave him on screen right there because, yeah, we got to love You know what? Get all the Sting lore in here. Let's bring some other Stings in here. We're celebrating Sting here today. We'll put the Wolfpack Sting there. And then we'll get another Sting over here. And we will. Oh, God. Bama down by two with four minutes left. Come on, man. We got to pull that out. I should have went to the damn game. It's right down the road, but I'm here on whatnot. I was here for the people. So if I was not on this stream right now, I would be at the game currently. So uh, you shout out to everybody, man. But I do want to. Oh, number four is also going to be Sting. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Here we go. We got, there's all of our Stings. So Wowza did that sale. Which one? This one? This one sold. This one right here is for my own personal collection. I'm not selling that. And then this just sold. But here we go, man. We are getting into the uh, mystery item number four. And mystery item number four, you're not ready for this, all right? And I'm kind of cheating the rules because this is not this is not a retro. This is a current day. And this current day item is a World Heavyweight Championship with gender Mahal side plates. Okay. All right, so you get the World Heavyweight Championship Modern, and the side plates are Jinder Mahal. Okay, this was, I do believe this was made just in case he won the championship. And now there's no way to move it. There's no way to move this. Who's gonna, who's buying this? So you can get it to have an updated Modern Heavyweight Championship. You just have to deal with the side plates. And you could possibly tear them off and glue on some, you know, some others. But I don't know, man. This may be, I don't know. Here we go. 
Well, you know, I'm, I'm running it. Don't hinder gender. It's offensive. Don't do that. All right. Here we go. We're going to run this. And we're gonna see what the hell, uh, what what the hell we got cooking. It's starting at a dollar, and whoever the hell wants this, it's it's modern day. It's a modern day world heavyweight championship. But uh, here we go, man. We're gonna run this, and we're gonna see what comes of our world heavyweight championship Jitter Mahal belt. <laughs> uh, so dumb. Let's go. It's a beautiful title, man. I mean, I don't really know what you want there. No, I told you nobody was ready. No, this was uh I mean this was donated to the stream by Dan, but this is still um many of figs is great. He's great. It's a misprint like the Frank Thomas rookie. Exactly, man. I mean, it, what do you want? It's a gender Mahal world title. You stick it on the shelf with him and it's yours forever. There you go. I cannot believe this is at fifty bucks. I guess people are like, you know, they're gonna use it as their current world championship, but I thought this was a great item to include. It's a great mystery item at the bottom, at the end. I, I just think this is excellent. So you can pick up the Jinder Mahal World Heavyweight Championship for your collection. I mean, who doesn't want the World Heavyweight Championship? Great WTF item. Exactly. Exactly, man. Hey, that is true, too. He is a former world champion, so you put respect on his name. Boom. Yeah, you really, I mean, really, it just looks like logos. It's not even that bad. I mean, to be honest, and a huge shout out to Captain George for the W, you could paint over that, man. You could put black paint over over these logos and then just, I don't know. I don't know. I just, that's a, a, epic. Huge shout out to Captain George for the W. World Heavyweight Championship, 50 bucks right there. Hell yeah. Good stuff, man. Good stuff, bro. Good stuff. All righty. Now it is time for our giveaway item. Which is what all the people were waiting for, man. All the people were waiting for the sealed Ultimate Edition Mattel Creations exclusive. Yeah, honestly, fifty bucks for that seal. I mean, that it, that's one tenth of the price it should have went for. We have the Kane Mattel Creations exclusive Ultimate Edition giveaway here. So again, this Kane is on screen just for uh just kind of represent the item okay this is this is not what you, you don't only get this figure you get this whole thing sealed up it is in a brown shipper it's got the ultimate edition logo it says attitude era ring it comes with the entire can you show your box your inbox figures uh you mean like i don't know what you mean there but here we go man you get the full thing it's been on card it's in the shipper it's everything so here we go we're going to run the giveaway man i don't know how this works um, okay, so there's five minutes. You have five minutes to enter here. So there you go. So does it pop up something on the screen? Is that what it does? Yeah, at the top right. Okay. Well, awesome. So everybody get in here, man. If you want an opportunity at the cane. It does come with the ring. It's 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 completely sealed in the box, Brad. It's sealed up like you get the ring in a brown shipper. Is it U.S. only? Did I put U.S. only on there? If I did, I do apologize for that. Why is it only U.S.? Can I change it? Is there any way to change it? Hold up. Sam, if I can't change it, you know what? I'll make up for that on the I'll make I'll make up for that on the on the next giveaway, man. I will make up for that on the next giveaway. I do apologize for that. Um, in order to enter the giveaway, you do have to follow me on here. So follow me on here. Can't change it and shipping will be like 50 plus on you. You know, that would be fine. That would be that would be fine with me if I had to pay the shipping. I don't mind paying the shipping. It's more um that's my bad, man. That is absolutely my bad for that. But I will I will make it up for international collectors um, on the next giveaway. On the next giveaway, I will make a, make it up to you guys. I can't get in and I'm following. I don't know, brother. Uh, I Again, I don't really – I don't know how all the ins and outs of this work. Um, I don't – exit and reenter. Okay, apparently you can – this guy needs that Rocky. Well, hopefully we can make that happen at the end here. Um, I would run Kane as a giveaway on his own if uh, it wasn't the only one that I had. This isn't the end. 
I mean, it's kind of the end. It's the it's the last thing we have here, man. You have two. Is there that many people down by one with two forty eight left? Is there that many uh, people that can't get in? I'm here to win the giveaway. All right, Mike, let's see what happens. 179 people in here, but there's only 118 entries. Okay, so you have to have your card info in your profile. There's got to, I mean, there's got to be some sort of it's rigged. So if you end up winning, well, I'm never going to hear the end of it. That would be ridiculous. Now, f you for that. No, I'm kidding. But do you enter slash win? I I think you just you have to be following me on here, and then you have to tap the little entry thing or something like that. Brother, if you win this now, I'm going to be sick. If you end up winning it, I'm going to give away my only Kane Ultimate right here as well with it. It'll be loose, but at least it'll at least be something else. So if that happens, if Mike the Wrestling Collector wins the sealed one, <laughs> uh, I'm telling you right now, if Mike wins... The, the sealed version of the Attitude Era ring, I will give away the loose version as well. So we'll have to see. Here we go. That thing's mine. Now I'm going to win this. I'm excited. I'm excited to see who wins, man. I apologize for all the international uh, collectors, man. Uh, that's an absolute L on me. That is absolutely my fault. So I apologize for that. Plot twist, nobody wins. Let's go, man. Should be good. Should be good, man. Should be good. 136, 135 entries here. Oh, yeah. This is a great job. To, a great time to promote it, man. You have 60 seconds to enter the giveaway, but patron packages are still available. You get the sticker, you get the crowd sign, and you get the autograph thank you card from me for 10 bucks. If you guys are interested in that, you can go grab one of those from the bite now. It's the only thing left. Yeah, whoever wins the giveaway, I'll throw in a sticker anyway. So there you go. Appreciate everybody for tuning in, man. It's been really fun. Hopefully you guys have had a good good stream. And again, we're going to do this in a month. I know we're not ending it right here, but we're not ending it at this moment. But you know what I mean. Love being a patron. Yeah, huge shout out to my man right there for being a patron member, man. I appreciate all of you guys so very much for all that you do, man. You guys are absolutely incredible. 15 seconds to enter the giveaway, man. Make sure you're getting in there. Make sure you're followed. Do not miss out on the giveaway, man. Do not miss out on the giveaway. Here we go. Five seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Here it is. And how does it work? Oh, God. That's so suspenseful. Oh. Adam CO4. Adam CO4 with the W. Where's Adam? Adam, you have to comment. Where are you at, Brad? Yes. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I wish I could see a live stream. I wish I could see a live stream of everybody watching. That way, like, I could see the disappointment and the the faces of everybody, you know, that, that won slash lost. I know there's only one winner, but I don't know. Yeah, You know when they show the, the face cam of, like, the coach on the sideline when his player throws an interception or something like that? That would be, that would be uh, good stuff, but. Cody Crybaby's crying. The Kane Crybabies now. No, I'm kidding. Huge shout out to everybody that entered, man. I appreciate every single one of you guys for entering in there. All right. Are you rerunning Belt Light? I don't know if I can actually rerun the Belt Light. I think the only way to do that would be to quick add it. And then, um, yeah, there you go. We'll get Kane off the screen because he's not very liked right now. Let's see. Yeah, that would be it. What if it was Adam Copeland? That would be crazy. Um, is the stream over? Not, not exactly. Not exactly just yet. Um, down by three with 29 seconds. Tennessee ball. Oh, it's over, man. We took the L. God in heaven. Damn. Can I ship it in another box? I will see what I can do there. Hopefully, I will be able to do that. Um. Let's see. I'll buy that British Bulldog. Well, I mean, this is this is what I was saying earlier, man. If uh, No, thank you guys for entering. Thank you guys for entering the giveaway and coming by the stream, man. The first whatnot stream here on the channel. Again, we may – I I know for a fact I'm doing another one in a month. We are doing another one in a month. 
It'll be the rest. I'm pretty sure it's WrestleMania weekend, man. And I want to try and do the stream either live from Philly or something like that. And I'm going to try and work it out where maybe, you know, I could do it. I don't know if I can do it at the, um, at the superstore, but I mean, I'm going to try, I'm going to, I don't know. We'll, we may get crazy with it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we'll see exactly what we got there. So I, I appreciate all you guys for coming by. Live in Philly. Well, you need to come to the superstore, man. You need to come to the superstore so we can uh, chat it up and maybe I could just, if you'll wait, I'll just hand deliver you this attitude error ring, I guess. So no belt lot. I don't know how that works, man. I don't think that person was legit. You know what I mean? You know what? I think I'm just going to quick add it, man. I'm going to quick add this this belt lot real quick. Belt lot rerun. All righty. We're going to do it. All righty, let's see. I highly doubt. I don't think somebody's going to pay two fifteen for that lot. Unfortunately. Wow, that's in crazy. That's 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 in crazy. What the hell are you talking about, Brad? Once the stream ends, it doesn't process. Okay. People are weird. You never know. I, I mean, you're not you're not wrong. I guess, but. All righty. All righty, here. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, again, you're getting – here's the belt lot. These six belts, you get a pair of tag titles. You get the white IC. You get the 84 title. You get the million-dollar title, and you get the Andre World Championship, man. So here we go. Here we go. Like, I look at it as, like, since you didn't have your ducks in a row, that's kind of, like, what kind of messed it up. And so, yeah, there's, there's that. I appreciate everybody for coming by, man. This, I do believe unless we give away, unless we, you know, sell that, uh, unless we sell that damn Rocky Maya Via elite after this right here. Yeah. Unless we sell that Rocky Maya Via elite, I do believe this will be the last thing. Now, the thing about the Rocky Maya Via elite is I don't know if he has the entrance gear, man. I'm going to have to look at that. I'll have to look at that. I don't know if he has the entrance gear or not. And so I don't know if that affects it for you or not. It probably does because I feel like that's the whole figure. But yeah, man, got this belt lot right here. Whole belt lot. Belt lot rewind. Riyad Bulldog, y'all. I'll do I'll do I'll do Bulldog as well. Why did these sell for two fifteen earlier? Yeah, I think it was a I think it was a trail auction. I don't think it was legit. Fifty bucks. Fifty four bucks. Here we go. Here we go. Quick had a custom MDT fig. Yeah, I, I, I wish. Maybe we can get some some stuff going for the WrestleMania stream. Joey Bastone? Bastoni? Hey, his payment went through, and he had his ducks in a row. He crossed his T's, dotted his I's, and I think that's worth it right there. Check out Custom JR Raw's war during my next stream. I'll tag you. All righty. That still went for 215 earlier. <laughs> All righty, man. Good stuff right there on the belt lot rerun. Now we're going to rerun the British Bulldog, man. Where the hell is he at? Okay. Damn, dude. I can't see. I got, I'm going to have to figure out a different sit for the next one. Once you're in the stream, the pending payments disappear. Okay, perfect. All righty. So do they have, like, to the end of the stream to fix the payment? Is that how that works? God, y'all answered in real time. Is this, like, in real time? Just yes pops up right immediately. <laughs> I know it's in real time. You know what I mean. All right, here we go. We're going to rerun this Legends Greatest Hits. Oh, God. I appreciate that, Orion. You're a beast. Do you have any additional European championships by chance? Uh, I do believe I do have some, but let's uh, let's rerun this. We're going to rerun this, uh, this Bulldog here. I'm going to call it Bulldog Rerun. And then we're going to run this and see the greatest hits legends. Bulldog right here. All righty. 
There you go, man. Have an opportunity at the greatest hits legends. British Bulldog Elite figure, man. Huge shout out to Slender also for buying a patron package. Do you have any Chase AEW mock or loose by chance? I do, but not for this stream in general because um, I have uh, most of my Chase AEWs. Um, I only have one of, and I like to keep those in the collection. But for this specific weekend, I did want to plug it. I wanted to have some mystery items, so I did want them to, to make them Sting themed. So I did include a couple Sting items there. But yeah, did you see the new rumor? Yeah, I made a whole video on that. Made a whole video on that. Uh, JB, is it Jane J Bones? Did make a video on that this morning or uh, two days ago, I think it was. Uploading every day on the channel, man. So if you guys need your wrestling action figure fix, you can swing by. When are you shipping, bro? I should be shipping Monday, correct? Because tomorrow I would, uh, I'm going to spend all day getting everything ready to ship, and then I will ship on Monday, I'm pretty sure. So I appreciate everyone, man. Is this figure going for that much? Is this figure going for that much? I thought this figure was worth about $25. But maybe I'm tripping. Uh, Fritz Free with another W right there, man. I think he's gotten like three different. Everyone pray that Rocky Maivia has the entrance piece. It's because it's you, bro. Well, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate that. It's because they're buying it from you. Well, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate the support. Any support by you guys is greatly appreciated. You guys are absolute best. Do you think the Kevin Owens will be in a cloth shirt? It God in heaven better. All right, let's. I'm gonna take a take a moment of pause to walk over to the other side of this room and see if this Rocky Maivia has the shirt. I don't think it does, though. I don't think it does, unless I sold you my Target four pack version with double jointed arms. Oh my God, my knee is so stiff. Jesus. All right. So this rock is pretty mint, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't have the entrance gear. Unless I gave you the entrance gear for my four pack, but then I would also be out a thingy there. I don't know. Hold up. They're in my closet over there, maybe in the closet. This is the figure. I appreciate that, Presto. Um, so this is the figure. It's minty fresh. Are you going to make some shirts and hats to sell yet? You mean like figure form or actual? God in heaven. I, to be honest, to be honest with you, I thought we were going to lose anyway. So it's not, you know, like coming into the game, I figured we would lose. So it's not really that, uh, you know what I mean? I wasn't, I wasn't, you know, harping on it. I, I came into the game kind of feeling out that we would probably take a nail. So I'm not that upset when you, you know, you, it's good you did the stream instead of watching them. Yeah, they probably just want to piss me off anyway. Let's be real. I'd love an MDT snapback. That would actually be dope. That would actually be amazing. But I do believe, yeah, I don't think, uh, buddy, you don't want the, the rock without the entrance gear, correct? I bet WrestleMania weekend we'll see a render of the CM Punk if I had to guess. Yeah, we were trash last time. Going into Tennessee and getting the dub is just impossible at this juncture. They could, I mean, they're probably a Final Four team, potentially, with Dalton Connect. He's unreal. Punk is going to be Mattel Creations exclusive? Maybe. Maybe. If that's the case, I will buy. I will be buying 20. I will be pre-ordering 20. I like it with the gear, but if it's like this, then I'll take it either way. So you want me to run this, or you want to buy it now? You want to run it or you want to buy it now? Yeah, I will. I'm serious. I will. I will. Uh, I will buy twenty. All right, let's run it. Here we go. Rocky football, my via. We're gonna quick add this and we're gonna roll. Uh, let's see. I may. I may give you guys a couple polls here before we get out of here just to like get like see where your guys heads are at on some different stuff if you guys don't mind 
before we get out of here. I do agree. I do greatly appreciate all you guys by swinging by. It's been a really fun stream. It's been uh, really cool to interact with you guys and move some items, man. So I greatly appreciate it. But here we go. We're running the Rocky Maya Via figure, man. Over a hundred strong here. I appreciate all you guys, man. It will absolutely be his Money in the Bank 2011. Or they may make that a main release, actually. They may make that a main release. Maybe it'll be a different punk. Um, they may do his Royal Rumble return gear. You guys let that guy win that Rocky. Rest in peace, Nitro Stage. Man, I think about that damn Nitro Stage every damn day of the week. I'm not lying either. I, I think about that quite often. I don't know how we lost. But I'm a, I'm a, you know, I'm a freak when it comes to collecting. So, I'm a nitro crybaby. I am an absolute stage crybaby. Nitro stage crybaby. I am. Do you think Rock will turn on Roman at Mania? Probably so, Brad. I also ordered three nitro stages and we failed miserably. Oh, Finzy, why'd you do that? Come on, man. Let that man have his damn rock. <laughs> Figs were ass, though. That's why for the... Unless Finzi really wants it. If Finzi really wants it, that's a whole other thing, but... <laughs> Lord in heaven. Um, the figures were ass. I don't know, man, because for me, the figures were bonus, you know? Oh, wait, I, I know Hayden. Is your name Hayden? We met at the Royal Rumble, right? Correct? Am I wrong? We met at the Royal Rumble. Yeah, that's what I thought, bro. That's awesome. Hell yeah. Good stuff, man. I appreciate you buying the Rocky figure, man. What a beast. It was nice to meet you, brother. Um, but the figures weren't the greatest on the Nitro stage. This is the last thing I'll say before we get out of here. The Nitro stage, I, I, was, I cared about the stage, bro. I cared about the stage. I didn't give a damn about the figures. The, the figures were bonus. I would have paid I would have paid 700 for the stage. And if you didn't if you didn't go to WrestleMania or see anything like if you didn't actually get to see the stage itself in person, easily worth the 400 or whatever the I think it was 400, right? And um that's good stuff, man. The uh yeah, if everyone saw it in person, they would have backed. No doubt. No doubt in my mind. The thing was massive. It was on It was on display at WrestleMania, and it, it blew my mind. I got to see it multiple times at multiple angles. Now, I do believe that – I don't know if it would have helped, but I would have liked to have made, like, an interactive video with it, like, on the channel, like, just showcasing it. In it. And maybe it wasn't ready. Maybe it was, like, a prototype, right? But if I could have taken it, and taking it out and actually got to like do some photography with it or like show it off in a video and show like all the different cool aspects of it and all those different things. I feel like it probably would have moved a little bit because people could have gotten an idea of what it's about because all we got were still images of it and you got to see it on video, but it was all in a like a case and you know, you didn't get to, I don't remember, I could be wrong, but I don't think they ever had a video where they were taking it apart or they never had a video where you know, they were like doing different things with it. And I just feel like if there was a way or somebody should have done a, a deep dive into that stage, building it and showcasing all the features and, and maybe I just missed it or maybe, you know, that was a bad job promoting those things that were made. But I don't know. I think that uh, that would have been awesome. Can I get a scan? What is a scan? I think that uh, I don't know. I just think that it would have been really fun. They had that video with DDP and Steve. That is true. They did do that stream there. I just think that, uh, can I get a, oh, is that what scan means? Yeah, there's no more items, man. We're here at the end. The only thing that you can buy now is the patron pack. Um, unless you have something in your mind that maybe I would pull from the wall and, and showcase or, or sell. But, yeah, I just, I, I hate that. Uh, yeah, it would have it would have absolutely backed if Sting. If there was an ultimate Sting in it, it would have filled, it would have filled in like a day, I think. Put up a sandwich and run that. All right, here we go. The Diet Dew Can from this stream. What do we think? It's still full. It's still like half full. I will drink the rest of it. I will drink the rest of it. 
shine the Diet Dew can and run it, you know what? I'll do it. I will do it. Shine Diet Dew can. Decent looking can. It's it's not a gym mint tin. There's a little mark right here. But there's a, you know what I'm saying? There's a bit of a 8.5, probably pretty accurate. I think PSA 8.5. I will sign this. I will sign this and run it if somebody will actually buy it. We're starting it at a dollar. Here we go. I'm doing it. Here we go. Category? I don't even know what the hell you what what do you even call this? What 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 category does this go in? Food and drink. Other food and drink next. You know what? This would actually be a really good way to uh end every stream. I'm not gonna do these often though, man. So this this is gonna be a, a one of one. A one of one. Diet do can. Here we go. Uh, we're running it. I'm running it. For the memes, got to do it. Just for the joke. This is going to be the last item, and I'm getting the hell out. There you go. Die do Kim. Uh Adam C won it. Adam C won it. Only if I can drive to T Town and pick it up. Will you sign it? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I'm gonna sign it. I'm gonna sign it, and then I'm also gonna sign uh my damn do or diet do or something. I'll do something. Whoever wins it, you can tell me what to do with it. Whoever wins it. I will see. I'm also, before I ship that rock, I'm going to look and see if I can find it. Because diet do can won the 04 rumble. That's hilarious. <laughs> I remember that. That is so funny, dude. That's so funny. Good stuff, man. You guys are incredible. This is absolutely hilarious. Yeah, that's good stuff. Game used, I do. That is so funny, man. That is so funny. Oh, that's hilarious. You guys are the best. You guys are amazing. Thank you guys so very much. This has been hella fun, man. Slander. Slander with the Diet Dew can. That is hilarious. Good stuff, man. Great stuff. I appreciate it, brother. All right, that was the last item. Slander, do you want me to sign it? What do you want me to do with it? Do you want me to personally personalize it? You be the you tell me. You tell me. Stick it sideways. Oh my god. That is so funny. Oh my god. Uh, definitely sign it. All right, brother. Well, all right, man. I think that is going to wrap up the stream, man. I appreciate you guys so very much. Went about two and a half hours here. I think it was in, in, in super fun. Super fun, man. You guys are absolutely amazing. I think that we're also going to have like a ton of awesome things uh, up for grabs next time. So definitely be to, to tune in and see what we got next time. But you guys are absolutely incredible, man. Can't wait to do it again. You guys were absolutely incredible. But that is going to wrap it up. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. If you're not already following me on whatnot, follow me on whatnot. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. All of it is the same, man. Have a blessed night. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. I will see you guys in the next one, man. I'll see you guys in the morning, bright and early for our next video. You guys were absolutely incredible. I will see you guys next time. Have a blessed one.